Guys, welcome back to the Unholy Trinity podcast. That's right, we still exist. Yes. Remember us? Remember no. Us. We did have a, another break. Maybe. <laughs> we break. But no, this was because um, we dispersed a bit to pursue our solo career. That's right. As in, these two went on holiday to different countries. And it's I, the opposite of going on a solo career. I just worked, bro. I worked so much. Mm. Were you making bread, though? I'm making that bread. I got twice Cheese. tickets. Oh, twice yeah. again for the second time. Cheese. In, in the, the same year? Same, same, like, six months, yeah. Hmm. Damn, They're bro. coming back to do a performance at Marvel. Hmm. Big one, yeah. For one night Ooh. only. I'm gonna be there. I'm taking Thomas, too. Hey. This is his first K-pop concert. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure he is elated. Is that a real word? Yeah. I think it is, yeah. Elated, elated. is a word. Mm, okay. Yeah. Excited. Oh, and elated. I, just really, I can read some of your Japanese oh, yes. now. You're now a professional, not professional, Character but development. A, you, you know, a post you, time skip. Yes. Oh, like a real anime. Yeah. You got the time skip development, like Naruto Shippuden style. Yeah. Or like the new the One Piece. Oh, do they have time to talk about? Don't I, they? Yeah. I, I didn't. Did you as well? No, I didn't. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. Hold on. Before we get ahead, that's of enough. That's so enough for the enough first thing. Um, I've been learning Japanese, so I I can read hiragana and katakana. Hey yo. Yes. I can do I can do one to ten, a hundred and G, which is like the time thing, like a clock, basically in kanji. That's the extent of my uh, Japanese, Japanese knowledge. what would you call it, text vocabulary. Literacy. Reading Literacy. comprehension. Literacy, that's yes. it, right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Literacy comprehension. Comprehension. Yeah, that's, so that's going very well. Um, uh-huh. I guess this will be more of a loose, unstructured episode in a like way. Like the last one. Like the last one. And sort of the one before that. And you mm. wanted me to talk about One Piece, right? So the one I did watch... The One Piece live action. Yes. Ah, which I think yes. we watched the trailer for and went, this doesn't look very good or something. Yeah. 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 I mean. Mm. I thought, I, looked, I, I don't remember what I thought. I just thought, hey, One Piece. Hey. I want to tell you, I want to tell you a little secret, boys and <laughs> listeners. One Piece real? It's really good. It's like genuinely really good. Ooh. And this is a weird thing. You know how immediately like when these sort of adaptations come out, it's just in general, most adaptations, it's always like, well, the source material is better. Haven't heard a single person say that. Yep. In fact, I've actually heard a, more pe- a lot of people say the live action is better. And I'll say I, it probably is purely on the basis of, yeah, purely on the basis of it's just concise. Mm, yeah. It's like, yep. th- so the first season, it's, I think, eight episodes, maybe nine mm. or ten. It's just somewhere in that eight to ten range. And um, it covers the first 90 episodes of the anime. Which is kind of yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah. And like, which is good because the entire show feels like, oh, killer, no filler. The pacing yeah. is all really yeah. good. Um, I, and yeah, I don't know anything about the source material. Mm. From my understanding, they haven't really changed much. It's like mostly the same. From what I've seen, yeah. which is not watching it, it, just, it is watching, it is, it is having YouTube shorts recommended into my feed and being like, oh, One Piece. Yeah. Uh, watching from afar. It wow. seems pretty accurate. It seems good. Yeah. That's all I think. I, so yeah, and I had no idea like what One Piece was really. So I watched this and I was like, kind of like, what the fuck is this show? Because mm, it's mm. so, it gives you the vibe of like, I don't know, a series of unfortunate events or something. Something where like every character is just like wacky, but like the entire show is just so committed. Yeah. Like it's never, That's a good yeah. they don't half ass anything. Everything feels, all the actors Despite the the dialogue's pretty bad, like that's the main like actual like genuine criticism is the dialogue's just not great. And I saw some things being like parts of it are cringy. Uh, the, yeah, like there'll be moments where characters will be like yell out, "I commit to saving the life of my friends," sort of yep, thing. Like, isn't which is what happens in the anime. anime stuff, accurate yeah. to which the source doesn't material. translate super well, yeah. but the every all the actors are super committed to those lines and stuff. Yeah, it's like that stuff kind of alleviates it. And honestly, I just got so attached to all of the characters. Like, I don't think they're all good. There was mm. like even in the first ep- like, can I talk spoilers ish? Mm. Like, I mean, One I Piece mind. has been out for uh, how long? Yeah, but a lot of people are getting into One Piece for the first time in the show. 
Yeah. There's yeah. this character you meet in the first episode who um, you think is going to be like a permanent member of Luffy's crew because he's just the first character that Luffy meets, but he actually goes a complete different way. And at first I was like, oh, this is kind of really jarring because this all happens within the f- a few minutes, kind of, because that's just the way it's faced. But then it actually, this character has a whole arc as to why they're committed to what their goal is. And like, he'll have yeah. encounters with Luffy, but it's not going to be, he doesn't want to be a pirate. That's all I'm going to like, kind of say, you know, the character I'm talking about, I assume. Yep. And that and arc t- also happens pretty much yeah. wholly and within the first episode of the anime. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, at first I was like, I don't know if that's going to work. But then it did, because they actually grew it into a whole plot point. Because he's not super sure throughout the entire season. And there's, like, all this stuff going on with these marines. They're like, yo, what's this deal? And then they start on this, like, huge twist of who the marine leader is. And I was like, <laughs> and they went, what the fuck? <laughs> Um, Zoro is amazing. Mm. He's also very hot. But I've that's, got that's so many friends bursting of him. Um, what's his name? Uh, can you? I don't. I don't actually know any of the actors' names. Yeah, but um, they all did pretty good jobs. Like, was, I don't uh... think like they were amazing performances, but like they did their whole mm. thing. Um, I love all the costumes as well. Um, yeah, they look nice. Yeah. Oh, the great thing is there's a lot of cool practical stuff. Um, the boat, I think, is entirely practical from what I remember from, yes. like, behind the scenes. Red boat. And it looks good. Um, there is a lot of CGI, but, like, there's a good blend. I think it's the most expensive show of the year as well. Each episode is, is like, it? 16 yeah. mil, hmm. which is a, a lot. lot. That's, a like, lot. more than Game of Thrones. And yeah. you can see that. Like, the show looks really expensive. But it's, like, honestly, like, that's good. Like, the show looks, it just looks good. Even like it really? looks made. Yeah, even the CGI isn't like with Luffy's powers in the trailer. It kind of looked a bit off, and sometimes it is, but like sometimes it's also not. Sometimes it looks fine, and like okay. yeah, he does a lot of. <laughs> I didn't know Luffy was a big stretchy boy. <laughs> I can't show you the trailer. trailer. I was like, I didn't, it didn't register with me really. I was oh, just okay. like, oh, look yeah. at that weird thing. Yeah, he just has long hands. But no, it? there's a whole thing. There's like Throw the hands. devil fruit and like yes, yeah, it's actually so cool. <laughs> It's like Elastigirl, yeah. but Luffy. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, loved it. Maybe I should watch oh, it. Oh, the, so the one thing um, I'll say that they legit wouldn't really, have, they could do it in the animation, but I doubt it would be done as well mm. as live action, is um, the fight scenes are all really well shot in like a very dynamic way, which I, I feel like just because the anime is like really old, they probably wouldn't have been able to do like, do a lot of spinning around. Mm-hmm. In fact, yeah. they do every action sequence you get, is spinning around. So if you don't really like spinny. the spinny, you know, you know, I the think one that was shot in the trailer, take, was it? That's, that's every cool. action sequence in the show. Okay. Yeah. Which is, and I like them. So, like, and they, 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 it's not action all the time. There's like some talking, there's some they stuff talk. going on. They talk a little. They talk. they talk a little. There's even some emotions in there. Sometimes yeah. I'll be going, oh, oh this is kind of sad. Um, But yeah, it looks fucking. It's genuinely a really like this is like honestly like a nine out of ten in my oh. opinion. Coming from somebody mm. who isn't familiar with the source material. Hey yo. And even after after watching this, I'm like, hmm, should I? And then I'm like, no, I'm not gonna watch a thousand mm. episodes yeah, of the yeah. anime. I don't have time. But like, from yeah, from what I understand, this is like the pretty much the same story and all of that, hmm. just more concise. And I think they want to do like fourteen seasons or whatever. They're, def- they're definitely doing a second that's yeah. been renewed. Who knows if that'll ever come out because strikes and all of that. They haven't locked in 14 yeah. seasons, have they? No, but that's... Well, Plan. they kind of need to do that. If they're going to do 90 episodes per season sort of yeah, thing, okay, yeah. they'd have to. Um, the issue that a lot of people have brought up, though, is how is it going to work where in the anime, Luffy doesn't really age? It's like mm-hmm. the entire thing takes place in like a few months, right? Yep, that's it. And they're like, how do they do that? So far, um, mm-hmm. I think the main character is in his like early 20s. And that's yeah. in Hollywood, that's kind of like the immortal era where like you could be like sure, Tom Holland sure. and just like uh-huh. be the same age for like a decade or whatever. You know, you, you can just like take baby blood and not age. That is true. You can like do. Queen Elizabeth. Or maybe but take you know, whatever. Or something. How she ended up, you know, maybe it, it, it's not up? as good as Queen, people say it is, you know. Queen Lizzie II yeah. was a fucking vampire. Uh, no, no. I don't know. I think she, but how did she die though? You'd have to be like reborn, as, I mean, like 
you know to be a vampire charlie like you'd have to Wait. i mean well, i'm vampires like dead they yeah they kind of yeah they but aren't well, they're like the belly a vampire has to suck you off to for you to become a vampire right yeah they're not always you see i've no, been playing always. a little, little game this is a segue by the way okay it's a little game segue. into a called boulders gate 3 Oh, oh yeah, yeah, this yeah, hot yeah. vampire boy give me the sucky sucky and drained my blood but like apparently it doesn't change you there's some mm. D law behind it okay yeah so you're someone watching D D. yeah see we I, haven't I, I explored get back into <laughs> vampires it, in, like in within the holidays gameplay, I, yeah. i'm just really busy during this no, time we I all have are. to actually like we write all are. it all yeah. and stuff but uh holidays will 100 percent get back Woo! to it that's fucking cool. Will we see vampires in our, uh, you know, Western, Western spaghetti? Oh, 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 oh sexy up. vampires. Yeah. Blood, blood bullets. Oh. Blood bullets. You mean that, like silver bullets? Oh, wait, well, I don't know. Sounds like it wasn't something. It sounds like it, it sounds like a thing. No, but like thing. vampires don't like silver, right? And that's where they use silver. Werewolves. Oh, blood bullets. Is, um, um, it's in Death Stranding. They don't like garlic. Ah, yeah. yeah. Garlic. Is that the vampire thing? Yeah. Garlic. Yeah, and people tell bullets. them to get out of my home. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's not a revolver, it's a reclover. Ah, yeah. Well, if it was blood Smart. bullets, it'd be revolting. <laughs> ah! But um, just... <laughs> but um, piss. But yeah, I was, yeah. yeah, have you played Boulder's Gate as well? Boulding. That's, a, that's hey, yo. so good, because it's literally... Do you know about Boulder's Gate? I we have, covered it one story where we talked about people fucking bears. Mm. Yeah, I, I like have I encountered that bear? Yes, I have. Hey. Did you... Fuck it. I'm not there yet. You don't have the risk. I'm also trying to romance, and, and I'm successfully romancing uh, Shadowheart, who is one of my companions. Mm. She's the love of my life. Also, she may be kind of evil. But you can fix her. <clears throat> but I can fix her. Can fix her. <laughs> nah, yes. Yeah. Um, I, I want to get that game, but like, I want to wait for that cross platform, yo. So we yeah, can it is play. coming. It's yeah. coming, right? So yeah. <laughs> I'll wait till then. Oh, you are also playing. you are also coming with your lady friend. No, not there yet. Either. Oh, not there yet. No, sorry. Mm, no, we had our first there. kiss. First base. Huh? Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. There's progression. But, <laughs> we had our first kiss, but um, whenever I go to the cab, I've turned off clothes <laughs> that everyone walks around me. Uh, okay, you can do so that. Every cut scene, including like Dialogue. platonic ones, they're just yeah. naked, so it just feels so weird. Yeah, how how would you uh, theoretically convince everyone in the camp to be like, hey guys, house rules, everyone's naked? Well, you can just do that. You can just, because you just, you just, you just clip it off. Clothes. Yeah. And then, it's kind of that's funny. That's good, good gameplay feature. Yeah. So whenever we go into combat, I feel like whenever, if me and Dio are coughing Baldur's Gate, if we go into combat, he's going to immediately just take off everything. I mean, <laughs> use up yeah. all of your action points and shit. That's and like, action, that's like yeah. German battle scars. Oh, you you would oh. duel, but you would take off your no, no, you would no. It was like ritualistic scarring, so you mm. would wear a helmet that only lets your cheeks be cut. No, oh. so it's just holes in the cheeks. Pretty much, you don't have like your dick hanging out. <laughs> I mean, you could, or you could have the other cheeks. And then the mm. the people, the German HR, not my joke by the way, have to be like, hey, put that away. <laughs> Interesting ritual. Yeah, put your dogs away. Play a Baldur's mm. Gate is incredible. I haven't gotten past the first act. Everyone I convinced to get this game goes, Oh, I'm in second act now. And I'll be like, Oh, cool. I'm still in first act. I'm still chilling. I've been playing a um, bloody Assassin's Creed Syndicate still. Mm. Remind me which one? Uh, British. Oh, oh British. yeah, the British. Oh, me and Dave have yeah, actually been playing me. something new. And we, this is yeah. actually pretty relevant. So we might have to talk about this. Mm. But, uh, news. Payday 3. <laughs> which ah, came out yes. two days ago. Yeah, we pre. Did you manage to get it before 12 a.m.? I bought it before 12 a.m. So yeah, oh, we yeah. did the pre-order. Technically. I guess it counts, yeah. Yeah. I had a friend um, who used to play the shit out of Payday 2. That was mm. us, bro. That was literally us. And they also modded the shit out of it and put their own custom music in. Oh, okay. We... I remember running around with like... I did like sliding mods because you couldn't slide... You can slide now in Payday 3, but you couldn't slide in Payday 2. So mm -hmm. I had a slide mm. mod on. Oh. I don't remember, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Most of my memories of the Payday 2 days are just like getting shit on by cops and like <laughs> losing. 
I think he's supposed to be hey, the other way around. We did a lot of winning back then, okay? Hey, we, got, we have our we wins, but you know, a lot of losing like, as well. Do you remember the art gallery heist? Vaguely. That was fucked. That yeah. was so fucking hard, because we tried to stop that every time. It probably it wasn't that fail. hard, but we were just yeah. dumb kids, bro, but yeah. yeah. You're like the dumb kid that was trying to steal the painting, but you put your hand through it, so you know the painting now has a hole in it. And that hole has a purpose. Well, Payday 3, um, their Twitter, like, uploaded a picture of the art gallery heist from Payday 2, right? Yeah. And um, put, like, an NFT there. Uh, like, uh, no, no, it was, like, satire. It was, like... Yeah. Look, yeah. Art. Wait, haven't NFTs, like... Isn't that, haven't they, like... Died? Died? They kind of died, but, you know, people who bought NFTs are coping and saying, no, they're not dead. Because I spent a lot of money. Mm. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Payday 3 is not dead. Payday 3 is just alive. alive. You know, it so just came funny alive. story. It came just alive. came out, right? So we pre-ordered it. Pops up, um, you know, me and my friend, because he hadn't, he's still downloading the game. Yeah, because I mean, on. Steam. Uh, Seven's Shit. down for the first hour. Mm. And we're like, fuck. We can't, so you have to like log in. You have to create an account and log in. Because uh-huh. it's got a whole cross platform thing and everyone, because everyone needs to have a Starbreeze account to play with each other. Yeah, which with these account. gaming companies and making us make it's an extra. It's purely because of cross platform. You can't, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to. No, we had some, like. No, think about it. Think about all the cross platform no. games we played and how we've had to have third party accounts for it. Mm-hmm. Minecraft it's Dungeons. Mm-hmm. Um, the other one, COD. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because you, you can't, that's the only way you're able to. You yeah. literally. Uh, yeah. You can't end yeah. anyone's. Yeah. Anyway, point being, we couldn't even log in for the first hour. Then we get in and we have a good time. We have fun. It's 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 pretty. I feel like the gameplay is all pretty good. You the hostage cool system has been yes. revamped and it's a lot of fun. Our first heist was a bank heist. We go in, we kill all of the. And this is this still mm. counts as a stealth mission. We killed all, all of the guards, or at least all the ones in our path. And we um, took everybody in the bank hostage and like shoved them in a room. Hmm. And then our, yes. our dramatic escape you do. was to get all of the bags, chuck them in a room on the roof, go yeah, down, the roof. start throwing them back off the roof to the parking to lot. But we have to be like, wait, there's a cop there. Don't throw. He might see. Oh. But it worked out. We did. It worked we, got out. It. Hey. We, did, we completed one heist that entire night across like three hours. Yo. Yeah, it took us more than uh, one try. Yeah, we were up to like 4.30 in the morning. When did we start? Like 2? Yeah, we would have probably started at 2. Yeah. That's not too bad then. Yes. And apparently after we played, servers went down again. It's just been like up and down for like a few days. Oh, and now it has mostly... Yeah, that's what she said reviews. about um, my, my PP. Interesting. <laughs> you should say that again twice as fast uh, in five times. That's what she said about my peepee. That's what she said about my peepee. That's what she said about my peepee. Maybe your mom was to the pastor. Hi, mom. I could even English that move it. Yeah. Cool. Unfunny joke moment. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah, let's <laughs> on for that. How was um, your holiday? Yeah. Oh, yes. I had a jolly good time. Jolly? I would like to say. Yes. And good. Mm-hmm. There was a time. Uh, Went back to the, the, the J Town, as they call it. The cool kids say, call it J Town. Do they? Do the cool kids call uh, it J Town? I've heard it said being said like once or twice. Uh, and meet like, up with the son in of Jay in the in the rap song. J. J Son. The son of J. I don't think I have. No. Was he up in the old J Town? I don't know. J Town, you know, uh, yeah, they they got a new new, new uh, light rail. Oh yeah, yo, I heard about that. they just opened when I came in. Wait, they that... they opened it for me, you know. Is that like the tram thing? Uh, what they have is a it's a train line, but it's a smaller train. Oh. Light rail just means a small train because yeah. it's lighter. Light rail is that what Sydney has? I think so. They call it a they light call rail. it a light rail. But it's basically it's a tram. A tram but they call it a light rail. Yeah, it's think, just, yeah. it's as small as a tram. You could technically well, count yeah. Melbourne's trams as light rail. Mm. Cuz I think in Australia light rail is classified by literally just the rail gauge. Yeah, the distance sense. between the rails. Yeah. I think. But that makes sense. Don't quote me know, on that. Small, yeah. small rail. Just small. Uh, but most of the tra- most of the <laughs> tracks in J Town is elevated, so it's, it goes over roads because like mm. they already built roads. They can't put trams down there. 
and like there's a lot of cool things happening there like uh some 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 operational issues Damn. and like tram not trams the trains sometimes not stopping where the door the gates are and it just keeps stuff. going yeah but i think Runaway they somewhat train. fixed that cuz uh, they made it autonomous like like ah. fancy trains but you know sometimes autonomous. Like, so shouldn't like, it stop perfectly yeah but like not they optimized. made it shit yeah as in yeah it's not optimized cuz like, apparently there's no people operating is it yeah no yeah. uh not pipe. Drone what do you call a, it's train, a train driver? Train driver. This is a, a drivers. drone. It's a drone, bro. Yeah. Because even in Britain, mm. they have automated ones, but there's still yeah, a person yeah. to make sure all the people have finished exiting the train. Yeah. They have someone still there. Yeah. When I when I used it, the, there were security guards inside to be. It's making sure everything's good, I guess. But that was early in the early stages of opening. But yeah, they're trying to make it autonomous, but apparently it's shit because. Uh, <laughs> All the trains, for some reason, were different spec because they did. They they <laughs> built it, shit, because it was built in house by people like me. So <laughs> you can imagine what happens there. Yeah. They just went, well, we're putting together a train. Yeah, it's well, like you know, how in Melbourne you have made it in Melbourne. Yeah, Melbourne, Melbourne in Melbourne, trains. but it's made in Indonesia by random Indonesians. Yeah, Is made about, by right? Dio. Made by Dio. Yeah, but I guess they kind of fixed it now. That happened, and they just, they also opened a new high speed rail line from the J town like, to my town. Is it Shinkansen? Yeah, it is a Shinkansen. But is it is it like as fast as a Shinkansen? It goes like top speed three fifty kilometers pretty an hour. That's pretty, pretty fast. That's pretty fast. Yeah, it goes to my hometown of the of Bandung B town. No is one calls it B town. No, just you, just me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they just opened. They opened when I left, so I yeah. guess that one's not for me. You high sped out of there, yeah, and they put it in. But it looks cool. Made in China, you know. Uh, repping. Shout out to the Chinese train factory, which they wouldn't call those Shinkansen. Yes, because it's not Japanese. Yeah, and the Chinese hate having. They're like fuck. Co- they, the don't co- they don't want to. They don't want to say they're copying anything else. But they. Apparently, this was Japanese people good. didn't invent high speed rail. Did they? I think they Who invented they, uh, high speed rail. I was, I, high speed rail invented high speed rail. Damn. Yeah, but apparently that one is going well. Like, no hiccups in that one. Mm. Damn. So that's cool. I think the Paul Express invented high speed rail. <laughs> <laughs> pretty high speed. I <laughs> know. Uh, JK Rowling. Oh. I mean, it's a magic train. Oh, speaking of JK Rowling. What are you doing? It's gonna be something transphobic. Oh, I love me some of that. Speaking of JK Rowling, I went to Universal Studios. Oh, she. And I got you some souvenirs oh. that are really? Universal oh. Studios. Harry Potter. Do you want the Do you want the rabbit light colored one or the dark moody purple? I know the mic's not hearing this right. Now. I'm gonna say this again. You, you were like rubbing your <laughs> yeah, ass the all over that. Yeah, I was. I was talking out of my ass. Oh, yes, um, literally. Uh, I, I went to China. I went to Universal Studios. So mm-hmm. I got you guys some souvenirs that aren't from Universal Studios. Ooh. Oh. Where are they from? Um, Some merchandise shop. How were those two? Like, I guess that was the relation. That was the... Because I... Segue. It was within the time frame he went to Universal Studios. But so. I yeah. bought a Harry Potter wand. Oh, hey. I have one too. For myself. Do they do like mm. a little show of it? Yep. Were you chosen to like... Nope. I was the one when Shit. I went to Nippon. They're like, damn. Oh, you, you were the chosen boy. I was the chosen one. Nice. Was this whole spectacle thing. Wow. I, I have like a special custom made one, one. thing. Ah, Let's go. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there was. I didn't go in there. Yeah. Didn't have time. I Anyways, also have souvenirs you for have? you guys, but I it's have in uh, Ron Weasley's form of culinary uh, treats, which is that red funny chip. Bag. Yo. Oh, shit, no. Or, brought soup. I should have brought you like a burger from my yeah. bag. <laughs> yeah. A souvenir. Yeah, I can't afford last too five much. Seconds. You split it half. We'll split mm. it and make it to it. Yeah. So, who wants the light blue rabbit one or the dark blue phoenix one? Are you a phoenix, Rise of the Phoenix boy, or are you a uh, Usagi? That's Japan Japanese for rabbit. <laughs> Japanese? Yeah. Oh, I don't. I, I didn't know that was. I didn't, I'm not. Up I to remember that because there like was this uh, one um, anime about like 
the small the girls girl thing. and they run a cafe and they do c- cafe things. Pokemon cafe. Yeah. Uh, well, you can choose first. All right, I'll I'll take uh, the rabbit. Play. I'll take the. the oh. d- don't break things. Oh, no. I'll break myself. Oh, this is really cute. Oh. Thank you. Enjoy the, the coaster for placing your. Is it your... from the derivatives of the Palace Museum cultural relics? Yes, which is a coaster. Cultural relic. Ooh. Ah, well, you know something cool. that was stolen by the Japanese from China? That's kanji. Yes. They're all Chinese characters. Mm. Wow. Well, we're on the souvenir train. Would you like to uh, taste some spicy sweet chip? <laughs> um, depends where it's from. It's from uh, your ass. It's from that bag. Oh, delivered that's okay. by, was it that's delivered okay. by high speed rail? Yes. If, sponsored, uh, sponsored by my legs. <laughs> So, this episode this is, is brought about, to you by my legs. Thing. Uh. Hello. Oh, this is fucking mukbang now. Yes. This hole big enough for you to grab a few chips? Mm, we'll see. Sweet and spicy. Just like my favorite deer. Yes. Where's the hole? Oh, you can't find the hole. As oh, many yeah. as you want. If you love it, grab it. If you hate it, what would you rate it? Uh, it's for you to enjoy, mate. Uh, it's a souvenir. You can. Ooh. So you're allowed to bring crisps into Australia? Apparently. Well, well, forget the. I don't read the terms and conditions oh, yeah. of Border Force. Well, at least what I uh, claimed at my, uh, what do you call it? The, 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 border the, force. the yeah, border force claiming paper sheet. I was mm. like, yeah, I brought in chips mm. and they let me through. So I guess it's fine. These are cassava chips for your information, ah, not damn. potato. I was eating it and I was like, this is very sweet. I didn't just the spice. Now I'm getting the spice. <laughs> uh, it kicks. <laughs> it, it's a delayed <laughs> kick. Yeah. These are... Specifically from uh, where my grandparents are from, which is... Audio this... engineer joke. A delay kick is not something oh. you want. I didn't even catch that in my own head. <laughs> Clever. That's a good one. For all the audio engineers out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shout out. Real. All, 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 all zero of you watching, send this to your friends. What do you call yourselves? Like audio heads? Uh, Radio heads? Oh, <laughs> nah, I'm a, I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. Um, border force stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, I brought in the legal amount of alcohol. Oh, an and illegal I'm, amount? And the the legal, legal amount. Oh, okay. And I brought in an illegal amount, ten times worth of cigarettes. What? Hey, can I get a pack? <laughs> what? Did you, what? Because my my dad wanted c- a Chinese ciggies. I and my mom was like, you might want to give some to a... I'll buy your dad, I'll buy your dad Siggy's and you bring it back to Oz. And I'm like, okay, mom. And then I declared it. And then my mom's like, usually the border force patrol will just be like, ah, whatever the fuck. Come in the country, mate. And they didn't? They well, and they ten didn't. Times the so I paid amount. $240 in tax. Really? But they let, they let that They through. let me through. With it. Wait, did you claim? Well, so you I, claimed. I claimed it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't ask you to declare exactly how much, and uh, they won't make you open your suitcase to check either. They'll just trust that you're being honest. <laughs> what? <laughs> I probably shouldn't be saying this. I'm no, kind of already paid myself. the tax. You I already paid the tax. Yeah, I said I, I, I have. Like reflects more poorly of them because I feel like should they be checking? Isn't that their whole deal? Yeah. Because I w- I was just being straight up honest about it. And being just straight up willing to pay the tax. They're like, okay, you're a nice guy. You should have been like, you should have bought like a gun and then just been like, yeah, I've bought some cigarette and no gun. Specifically, right? And no gun. And I'll be like, you're chilling. That somehow goes past the yeah. um, baggage checkage. Yep. And uh, yeah. Uh, what was it? I thought I had 20 packs. How yeah. much do you You're have? only allowed to bring in 25 individual sticks. No. Oh. <laughs> Did you misread the? <laughs> no, I thought I had twenty packs. I thought that was my what my mum told me. Oh. I actually I actually only had ten packs, so I told oh. them I have ten packs. Oh. 
but they're still more than the and then they were like yeah mate amount. $280 is expensive so I'm gonna do you a favor and less one counted pack so I'm only counting nine packs today hmm nice guy you should have given, given him a pack hmm maybe yeah <laughs> yeah and then I had I had a Europe a guy with a European accent paying uh, making me pay the money and he was very nice. This is we Aust- chatted a bit. This Did is Australia. Like his, his name was Rene. Rene. Was he like vaguely and European? My wife, Miss, Mrs. Rene. This is my wife. That's awesome. Mm. Do you have any other stories from your adventures? I mean, I have three weeks worth. Mm. You condense it like the One Piece live action. Uh, should I tell it over three weeks worth? Oh, I guess you can. Because the One Piece first eight episodes or whatever of the live action would have only taken place over less than a few weeks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I went on a, a, an adventure longer than the One Piece. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you uh, said One Piece was like several months. Yeah, and then, and then I was like, uh, well, so I guess, is it just called the One Piece live act? One Piece? Well, what's the show called? Because the, oh, yeah, the, the, the arc is the Romance Dawn arc. Yeah, the arc the Romance The first Dawn episode arc. is called Romance Dawn. Yeah. But yeah. Hmm. Oh, I was saying. Is the entire arc, like, till they... Well, I was going to spoil the ending. That's fine. I mean... How does yes. the romance dawn arc end? Well, the... you, you know. It's what you originally thought. Love wins. But it's the dawn of romance. Then, Is uh... it like, like friendship romance between the group? No, it's just the romance with the idea of being a pirate. And being uh... free. That's the romance. The, the romance of the seas. Bro, it brought me back to the days when I wanted to be a pirate. This was like last year. Or <laughs> playing Black last Flag. year. Uh, <laughs> no, this was last year yeah. when I went onto the bay. Oh, wow. you don't study like pirate law in yeah. high school. Yeah, you know, like specify a law that you want to look at. I was like Victorian pirate law. There's like two laws about it. Yeah, I can't mm. remember what they are. It's just like kind of like don't be a pirate. And yeah. don't pirate in our bay or something. Mm. That was the. Th- Making those oh up. yeah, isn't it like pirate ships aren't allowed to enter the bay? I think it literally is something yeah. like that. <laughs> That's like the only law against piracy in mm. Victoria. Which is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I remember some vague pirate lore. Yeah. Not law. Yeah. But I've also seen some stuff about pirate law on pirate ships. Yeah. They have to sign a contract, don't they? Oh, I thought you had to sign a contract to learn about these pirate laws. <laughs> yes. But I, would I it swear... be legally binding in international waters, mate? Well, on each individual pirate different... ship. You sign a contract mm. on each individual pirate ship, which all roughly works out to be the same, like, contract. Because pirates are cool. Yeah. They have principles. I mean, that's just... They do have principles, like, yeah. Signing your contract at work. Go watch... Yes. Uh, CGP Grey. Um... Pirate captain and pirate quartermaster, um, the du- dual video series. I have a mm. TV show. I think it's called like maybe it's Black Flag or something. No, that's <laughs> that's that's, that's the screen, man. Is it some weird Michael Bay pirate show? I've got, I picked it up <laughs> for like two dollars. It's like a Blu-ray disc collection. Yeah. All I know is it's rated R in Australia, and I was like, this looks really edgy. I'm gonna buy it. Mm. Right. I haven't seen it, but uh, okay. maybe I'll check it out. Check it. Check but what it. would be the like the repercussions of uh, violating your contract at sea? You know, you can't just like go to Walk the, the bank. Plank. You just you just get killed. No, it's like I think uh brig. Uh, mm, send uh, them to the brig. Yeah, so well, jail. Yeah, the brig. I think oh. it's just like it's it's pirate jail. I yeah. think it's just like you have your pirate's honor to voluntarily leave the ship, uh. and be a good person. That's a real <laughs> and, and, re- like a and restart thing. your life as a free man. Mm, yeah. It's like stuff. John Wick, some fucking like the underworld of assassins, but pirates. Yeah, yeah. 
but like where John John Wick is, he's at a he's in the countries. Yeah, they have laws. Pirate world is crazy. I think well, pirate world's changed quite a bit. It's not we're not in that era of the golden age of piracy anymore. Unless you're talking about on the internet. Yeah, <laughs> oh. I, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. But, um, <laughs> my God. The pirates we have now are just like fucking pirates, but they're not like they're not like One Piece pirates. We're just. Like, I mean, we're gonna fucking yeah, if, if you've seen those Somalian pirates. pirate footage, uh, they're they're pretty piratey. But they're not like uh, we're bound by the order of encoded the sea, are we? Mm. They're more like we're just gonna fucking rob your ship. Yeah, that's not what pirates do. <laughs> yeah, especially Luffy like, do that. Especially refugee ships. Do you do oh that? yeah, I mean, yeah. they, they get what they deserve. Oi, oi, mate. You know, uh, that out, dead, mate. they should have signed the contract with the pirates too, man. That's true. What if every refugee became a pirate? Yeah, true. Oh, that's a Marvel show. Well, that's kind of how it would. Be back in the days, right? It's like pirates. Yeah. They want to go and be elsewhere. Oh, yeah. I remember, you know, fucking, what's his name? I think it's Blackbeard, right? That's a pirate. Yeah. He mm-hmm. was like a profound, not profound, that doesn't really make sense. Profound. But he was a really good, like, scholar. Yeah. Really kid back in school, but then he's just like, fuck it, I'm gonna be a pirate. Uh, cause, yeah, in, in, even in the movies, yo, like, you, there's some Disney movie where the kid's like, yo, I wanna explore and shit. You mean One Piece? Probably One Piece as well, where it's mm. like, I'm gonna be a pirate. That's Yeehaw. cool. Yeah. Wait. But in One Piece, it is cool. It actually is cool. Do they yeah. fight like. I think there's an arc where they fight Wait, like. No uh, Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I, I, I haven't watched One Piece, nor read it. Uh, anime, manga, spoilers. Yes. Is there an arc where they like fight a monarchy or some shit? I mean. If you're talking about fight, uh, uh, trying to overthrow um, the, the the royal hierarchy, I guess. That's They're like every pirates. fucking pirate is. Yeah. yeah. Pirates of the There's Caribbean some pirate shit. Yeah. Wait, I think I told you in the last video something. The most expensive porn ever made was like a Pirates of the Caribbean parody. Ooh, did they <laughs> I think I said, right? That was yeah. like, I think that. That yeah. means they did it like at an actual boat, right? Maybe, I don't know. In the sea. I, I, I'd Yo-ho. love to see. Well, I guess I'll watch the pie in the sea. That's fine. Yeah. Maybe I'll just watch the movie. I'll, 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 for ad- analytical purposes. Just see yeah. where the budget went, of course. Yeah. Well, I had something on the note of something we were talking about earlier. What were we talking We talk about pirates. Mm-hmm. Being a pirate. Because we were talking about codes. Of conduct and law. Oh, I actually, that might have led to something, but I can't remember. I mean, if it, I was just going to return to talking about China. China number one. Which yeah, is chapter okay. one. Yeah. Chapter one. And I'm going to say, I feel like one. I need to split this over a few episodes. We still have to cover a couple of movies. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So. China part one. Uh, I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to split this into six episodes. Because each week had like drama. each week was split into two, and I was there for three weeks. Okay. Week one, where we stayed in like central, the center of Beijing. What's up, Beijing? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Beijing? Yeah. Uh, and uh, we stayed in Huangfujiang, which is like. It's like the Burke Street Mall of China. Yo, that's a bougie place then. But like yeah. 10 times as big and wide. Like the road? Hey. Five the times as wide, I guess. Is it like one street? Like one street? one pedestrianized street. Big and street. that's where like kings used to walk. Cause so it's Dead. called like the King Alley. Oh. But it's a huge fucking alley. It's not so much of an alley then anymore. Uh... We had like a, my grandma went downstairs and uh, was like eavesdropping in on a conversation between the hotel staff and this British person. Yo, Asian aunties be like. Because. I'll be the British person in this story. It is like. Oh, oh, oh that's French. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oi, mate, can I live in your hotel, please? The oh. hotel across the road. Wait, I've, been, I've been playing a British game. Oh, 
Well, my name is Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin? <laughs> Let me t- Oh, fucking, wait, fucking can I just quick tangent? Yeah. So in, um, in fucking Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Where is they have going? this thing called Dreadful Crimes, and it's like you're dreadful, solving... Dreadful, man. Yeah, fucking, yeah, dreadful, fucking dreadful. Yeah. Because sol- they're petty dreadful, it's a pun. But um, yeah. you're solving crimes, right? And the way yeah. you solve crimes is you kind of like eagle vision, look for clues, and then it forms like Sherlock. So like the words appear oh, in my mind. Oh, fucking Sherlock, so the, man. In the end, you solve all these crimes, and you realize there was a bigger mastermind behind it all, and it was all finding clues as to who the... What the next big crime is? It's gonna involve like blowing up Buckingham Palace or something. Purple and then you guy. go into the Mind Palace. You literally go Yo. into a Mind Palace. Ah, you have to solve the thing, and you solve the Mind Palace against the real world. And then it realizes this kid that was with you this entire time, um, helping you solve some stuff. He gets taken hostage by the mastermind at the end, yeah. and then and it was so fucking obvious. The kid's name was um, Artie Doyle. And then at oh, the end, he's like, well, I prefer to really be called by my name, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur oh, Conan Doyle. And oh, I was like, man, it's, a, it's, man. A, it's a, the thing. It's the thing, guys. Yeah, so it's like, it was a reference to the TV show Sherlock. And then it was like, yeah. actually, yeah, also <laughs> the Sherlock reference. Fun Sorry, times. That was my segue. Anyways, that was a good segue. Going back to Because British it was people. a British segue. Yes. And British, British segue is either shit or good. And this British person was talking about the hotel across the road. Right? Yeah, man. And it was fucking yeah. uh, way dreadful. too expensive. Fucking dreadful. Yeah. Dreadful, mate. I hate my accent. Uh, anyone in... If any, there's any British accent people in the comments, yeah, I'll hate me for I a reason. A Scottish accent. A day in the life of a Brexit geezer. You want to do a Scottish accent, mate? <laughs> Yo, my lad's asking to play Payday. Fucking play Payday 3, <laughs> mate. Anyways, the hotel Where's across the road was fucking too messy. And they were like, no, I, I'm not having this. I'm coming to your hotel. And then our oh. hotel was like, um, you got lucky. We're cheap. And we aren't afraid of foreigners. I'm afraid of foreigners. Because in China, like this, like going to the real talk, um, <laughs> so <laughs> many know, hotels, the now, yeah. they will just refuse foreigners. Your because base. they don't want the, have, they want, they don't want to have the risk of a random police inspection. Because of... Just like a wait, lot of people does that mean the China? police is also racist? Just just in case that, like, there's foreigners that bring trouble, uh, or th- just in case... Because I think most hotels <laughs> don't really have the correct qualifications to count as an international hotel or something like that. They just can't because, afford the insurance. So, so, yeah, most hotels won't accept foreigners just because they probably don't have, like, the legal facilities to account for them. Oh. So if they get a random police inspection, it's game over. Only the Continental, then. <laughs> yes. Well, okay. We were living next to the Continental in Chapter 6. <laughs> no! Chapter 5. Yo. We were living in the hotel next to it. That's crazy. The Continental. Did you... Did you were there assassins walking in and out of the place? Uh, mm, well... You never know. See, no this was the joke I wanted to say on, on, uh, on the podcast. Because I came back to Australia and I, my, I, you wrote that, did you write your notes? Joke to say on podcast. Pretty much, oh, honestly, I, I kept that in my mind. Honestly, that's so the, joke like the reason He's why comedian. he just takes notes. I come world. back yeah. and it's like my, I think it's at work, and then I had to focus on a something yellow, and then oh, my friend yeah. was like, "Are you fucking blind? It's right here." And I'm like, "Oh." I'm sorry. I've been in China for three weeks. I've seen so much yellow that my yellow vision has just uh, been blinded. Uh, oh, was that a I've been oversaturated to... by yellow people. Minions. I saw minions in banana Trump in Beijing. What? I don't know. Did you wait? You, did you watch like Rise of Gru or something? No, but I went to Universal Studios. Oh Gee. yeah, because the minions. Bella! Oh she! I, I, did I take any photos with minions? I don't think I did. If you did, uh, put it up the, on the screen. Oh yeah, D- yeah. I mean, I can send you photos if you want. Yes. Yeah. Um. So I need to send you minion photos. Oh my god, it's one of them you. <laughs> I, I fucking wish, but... I mean, I can't tell them apart, they're so fucking yellow. <laughs> which is like, um... I, I can't tell them... Here's another tangent. Which, yeah. I was in secondary class and sitting next to my friend when we were speaking English, and across from us were some Chinese-speaking friends. Mm. But, not like, they were friends, we're not friends with them, and I don't associate with yeah. the um, first-gen immigrant uh, population of our secondary college because I wasn't friends with them. And then, anyways, Yo, they were talking about segregation. Much? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Anyways, they were talking like they spoke about something like small yellow person. And oh, that's that me. either meant minions, oh, like me. the actual translation of minions yeah. in Chinese. Do they literally small yellow call people? Them small yellow people. Yeah, Xiao Huang Ra, small Damn. yellow people. They don't just say minion. Min- <laughs> minion. Yeah. Yeah. They don't say that. Okay. Otherwise they'd be they calling them like the, the equivalent of slaves. Minion? They is are it, fucking it, slaves. It, exactly. <laughs> Minion slaves. Um, and I, yeah. I wasn't sure whether they were referring to that or they were like dissing me because th- they assumed I didn't know Chinese. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And so I was like, who's the little yellow person? And, and then they just instantly just shut the fuck up and they're like, no one, no one. It's you. Well, they didn't even say that because I think the, the, everyone... they, they thought I didn't, wasn't saying that. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> you just sent me a picture no, of Shrek. Yeah. Shrek, how how are you the only small yellow person there when everyone's a small yellow person? Exactly. Fucking true. And so the first three days were the most eventful, where I was in the center of yeah. Beijing. I went to first day shopping, like malls, where me and my... So I, I had to go with my grandma for the first week, first two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, um, because Shout my grandma. schedule didn't align with my sister who was on high school holiday break. Shout out uh, schedules. Yes. Shout out schedules. Um, <laughs> Shout out. In any major um, populated city center area, or like any place that you'll see a lot of people, this is police equipment yeah. for handling riots. They're wearing riot gear? Damn. You you just have cupboards of riot gear in the fire escape stairwells. Yo, can I grab some of those? Is that because... Um... A riot games is a, is a big, oh, is a big you know, shareholder. Is well, some Chinese company? Like, I think ten cent. Yes, you know? right. The kids are up in that Fortnite. The kids are all up in that Fortnite, which is a different company entirely. Epic game. Fortnite <laughs> sponsored by the Chinese government. Wait, what's, 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 this, what's this riot do? Did they uh, do a uh, uh, league? <laughs> who does a fucking uh, what's that game? Fortnite. <laughs> Uh, let's just think about another game, but I guess it doesn't Super matter. Super Animal Royale. <laughs> yeah, how about, that? how about that game? <laughs> Sexy Beast. This game called Super Animal Royale. Yeah. It's just like Sexy Beast. 2D Fortnite but with animals. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, Valorant, anyway. Valorant. Yeah. Valorant bad. Okay. Cool. League. Wait, if they bad. leave those uh, rag gears on there, do people steal them? I assume not, because you'd be breaking the law. And there's. Let's be honest, surveillance everywhere. Well, if you started, uh, true, a, you, you started they, they'll, they'll lose social the credit score, would they? Most, um, like... Oh, it's a Black Mirror thing. That, yeah. Black yeah. Mirror thing. Most, like, public venues or, like, public theme park places. Yeah. Like, I went to Universal. I went to mm-hmm. um, Forbidden Palace, which is just the name Forbidden. of the big place in the middle, which is, yeah, like, extremely it's... historically yeah, I know, relevant. I know. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're either using your Chinese identity card. Yes. Um, and this is for like where there's like less technology, technologically advanced places. You'll just, you can just scan your ID mm. card that you use for everything. Yeah. And Manual the number is pretty ID much check. your social security number equivalent in the U- yeah. US. Um, or passport, you, you can't go through the automated terminals because they don't account for foreign passports. Yeah. So you go to the, and then a, and then a person scans it and lets you in <laughs> because they're keeping a record of exactly who's going in and out. Which was all implemented during the COVID phase. Well, is that the excuse? It's like, oh, so, you know, it's... exactly right. Yeah, smart. But then you go to a place like Universal, where it's been built more recently, like really uh, recent, recently. Did they just open? They, you, bind your identif- identification to your face. And then mm. your face is your ticket into everything, literally. <laughs> you you Dude. walk up to a thing, even in train stations and you like airports. Your fucking thing to your head. Well, like, like you bind it physically to on the cloud. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah you you like like your your yeah they, speaking of which, they yeah. just kind of implemented that in a uh, local train station exactly. in Jakarta. Because you go to a train station or a major train station that's yeah. interstate. Or you go to the airport. Yeah. And then once you've done your luggage and everything, and then I think there's a person who takes a photo of your face at some point, and mm-hmm. they take it really well, yeah. because then you go to any terminal or you're boarding your flight, you and they will just the scan your face, and then they know you're the right person. Damn. You, you don't even need hinge. to bring out your identification or your Might passport. Be good. 
picture for your head? Is yeah. That, is that good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it better be, but it just be. But uh, when a everyone looks at face. it, they're like, "Oh, at Sunny, I immediately recognize that yeah. person." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, in Universal, I got paid for um taking having the express ticket thing, so I could take oh, yeah. the express route, yeah. which I didn't end up really using because it wasn't a busy day, but there were still like thousands of people in the. Yeah. That's just how it's big the place is. But Man, I did I skip a forty-minute queue. Yeah. That's the thing with uh, these, uh, what do you call them? What theme are these park? places? Theme parks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fucking long queues, hey. Yeah. Yeah. But with that uh, face facial recognition thing, once you get that implemented, like, the government knows where you're going at all times, baby. Yeah. It's fun. That is, that is quite, uh, that is, yeah. Yeah, that's what it's for. Yeah, they just implemented that, like, a few days back, and people didn't know, so people have to, like, register on the spot yeah. and shit, and people complained. It's kind of like when you go into Payday 3 and you have to register yeah. for a start. Which they go. have streamlined <laughs> enough in China that it's not a, an incredible hassle because mm. l- most payment in China, they don't use credit cards or cash anymore. Do you use like Alipay? Do you, Alipay. Yeah. Do you staple that to your head too? Oh yeah. <laughs> QR code. Scan. Literally, you give them your phone and they'll scan it and that's yeah. payment done pretty much instantly. Or you I put your phone up to the thing. I don't like that. Like, not... Like, not for any particular reason, mm. but, like, you know, like, people pay with, like, Apple Pay and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah? I don't like doing that. For some reason, it's really fucking finicky with my phone, so I just Yeah. Don't. you have to open... Well, but depends. it's not even an Apple Pay right, thing, yeah. because yeah. that's, like, you're replacing your phone with your card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This it's is a QR whole, codes, like, right? QR code. Everything in China is QR code. Yeah, yeah that's getting pretty big in uh, Southeast Asia as well, mm. but with different platforms. You're right. Yeah. But Alipay's there. I've seen them around. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I tried using Alipay. Cause, but then you can't like have one credit card between two accounts. Uh, yeah. So I couldn't use public transport unless I bought a physical ticket, which they still have. Nice. They still have Somewhere. like, but if you go to like, a, a no, like, if you, if you go to somewhere in China where it's not like a big company or it's not a uh, place with a lot of people, you're probably not going to have enough change for cash. So you can't pay with cash because you're not going to get yeah, any change. Yeah. Uh-huh. Going cash. back a bit on the face recognition thing, like when you go through like uh, the airport immigration, yeah, they they have the mach- the gates where you can just scan the passport and they see your face, right? Yep. Kind of the same thing. Kind of. But with these uh, more uh, more integrated ones, do you just go past without a gate and they'll see your face and it'll be good? Yep. So it's it's so, made to be more streamlined that way, right? It's made to be more streamlined. Yeah. yeah. They've got like fucking God's eye from Fast and Furious. Yeah. Uh, they can look at all your faces. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah. <coughs> Might right, be a gonna, convenient yes, thing, sir. but yeah. better for your privacy, I guess. Go ahead. We're probably gonna move us along for time's sake. Right. Part, one cool. done. part one done. Part one done. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna talk about a couple of movies that we've watched. Yes, yeah, a couple, couple of movies. Movies. Um, yeah, I forgot how to review movies for a second. Which one do you want to do first? Uh, uh, well, well, I guess we'll start with. But I'm just curious, how did you guys watch? Like, because you were like, "All right, let's do an episode this week." Mm-hmm. How did you guys have time to watch two? Ep- did you guys watch it one day? I like, did. Back to back. Did you? Yeah. Well, shit. That's a vibe. Well, uh... I love doing that. I like doing the back to back. Watch in, it one in, day in, and in the next uh, day. a bit of uh, unusual means, but because this is a they 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 did a simulcast release. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, they uh, they released digital as well. Uh, I don't think Blue Beetle got its digital yet, but I know TMNT. I don't know is. if I found one. Oh, it might have been. No. All right, yeah, because yeah. it's been out in America for like a month. I think we reviewed the Blue Beetle first. Blue Beetle? Alright. Alright. Blue Man. I have a lot of hot takes about this one, by the way. Oh. And it's something I know you're going to heavily disagree with. It's because it's particularly... There's a a movie I'm going to compare it to, and I feel like you're going to heavily disagree because you don't like this movie. Alright, I'm going to start then. First impression starting with me, because I want to hear you guys talk. Alright, alright. That's fun. Yeah. Kind of tropey, but yeah. I think, yeah. I thought it had had its funny moments, you know. Yeah, 
But like sometimes it do be like, wow, superhero movie, and they're doing the thing, and then, wow, that wasn't funny. Mm. <laughs> but it had a bit of funny. Yeah. No, oh, because for me, I'm like, yo, this is a good movie, and I think it's mm. great. I think it's good. Okay. Um. It had some funny moments, right? Yes. It had a family that I cared about. Oh, family. It reminds me of another movie that I saw. Another superhero movie this year. Fast that and also Furious had a family 10. that I cared about. I thought it was pretty funny. And I thought it was ultimately a good movie, not a great movie. Oh, but it was also it... a DC movie. Do you remember what movie that was? Is it, is it the, the, the kids? Bro? Speaking of Fast and what Furious 10. Shazamos. Is that it? Universal? Oh. Yo, they got the Vin Diesel. Did you go to the Fast Yo. and Furious ride? There wasn't a Fast and Furious oh, exhibit. So one in, um... But I did the Vin Diesel pose. Holy shit. Nice. That's actually incredible there. They had just have Don Toretto's car. This is all there was for Fast and Furious. It's like a proper ride in um, the one in America, I think. But, yeah. Um. Anyway. Shazam. I, I felt exactly the same about this movie as I did Shazam 2. Yeah. Where I'm like... Because I, I like Shazam 2. I don't think it's a great movie. But for about the exact same strength as this movie. Mm. Except for this movie, I thought it had one scene that was really good. And then no scenes that ever live up to it. And that was the one scene where police brutality. I was like, damn, uh, this is really hardcore. Yes. And then it ended. And I was like, nothing's ever uh, going to be yeah, as There good, should have been more powerful. police brutality. But it felt also very out of place. In, mm. Not mm. topically, like it made sense within the story of the movie. But it just tonally, that was the yeah, thing. Okay. It was just yeah. like... Random super serious scene, and it made me cry. And I was like, "Oh, oh no!" Oh, well, no it was spoilers, a bit out like, of place. I, was, I found it pretty sad, and then like it was a little bit weird. Yeah, it was just like the, the okay. tone shift was yeah too too. Like quick. even the scene before it, they're in another location, right? Yeah, and they're making like jokes about my family is in danger. I gotta go over and get them. Yeah, and they make kind of jokes about it, but then they show up, and then it gets serious. And it's like mm. um, the the two other characters that he was with, the um, romantic interest and Uncle Man. They're yeah. like they're like, uh, so Blue Beetle goes and flies off, and then they're just like, ha ha ha, time to get back to the cave. But then later it shows like the big dramatic scene, and they they, they drive up really seriously, like they were rushing to get there. When in the previous scene they were, they just were, they just they said to yeah. go back in the cave. So that's we'd got. I mean, they were also late, so. But they were never going there. That's weird continuity. They never said they were going to go there. They just decided, they to, just go. decided to go mm. there. And they said, we're just going to go back in the cave. Yeah. Sorry, that's Damn. a re really specific nitpick of a thing that happens in the middle of the movie. <laughs> but I'm going to get a bit ahead of myself. We'll but talk about that was it like, again. I feel like that moment just summarized the movie for me. It's like it had some good moments and some humor that was sometimes good, sometimes not good. Yeah. That's a superhero yeah, film it, these it, days. It, 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 Kinda is. Yeah. What's the last superhero movie we watched? Teenage uh, Mutant Austin Ninja Ferris Turtles. Turtles. I don't think that one really cares. I don't think either. <laughs> other, like, I don't say Marvel or DC. Was uh, the last one... Was it The Flash? Oh, God. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I think this movie was better than The Flash. Um, 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 what's it? Fucking uh, Nick Fury? I like Batman. I fucking hated The Flash, though. You like Batman, but like the but, movies that's, the, the, good, Batman, that's the only it? good thing about yeah. it. Y'all yeah. aren't counting Secret Invasion, though. No? Yeah, oh, that, that was, was shit. awful. Yeah, this is definitely better than Secret. Invasion. Like this, yeah, this that's I the think latest. It's, just, it's still a good movie. It's just like, yeah. Should we get into more specific stuff? Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, acting, do. I thought the acting. I think like the main family were good, but yeah. some people. I thought the. Okay. So, to set the stage, I thought this movie was really bad for the opening scene, where it introduces the villains, and it's like some really bad ADR or something, where mm. everybody sounds super bored and like they don't want to be there, and the villain's just, like, the villain, like, like the lady, yeah. she was really bad, and I was like, she's a little bit better in the movie, but like, that, that first mm. scene just threw me off, because I was like, what? This sounds really yeah. weird, and it doesn't seem good. Just you know what the, the, the villain mm. is? It's like shit here, Iron Man 1. Oh, I fucking hate it. Like, I'm really just sick of the 
billionaire mm. corporation bad. Even though we all know billionaire corporations yeah. are bad, but nah. it's just every superhero thing, if it has involves technology, yeah. has to do that. That's kind of the thing. They did the Iron Man one bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this movie is literally fucking Iron Man. Isn't it? Except the Beetle. Except Beetle. And not billionaire. At least the guy. Oh yeah, the the kid is. Yeah. Well, it's got a, a bit of a Batman element to it, with um, yes, some stuff. A yeah. bit of Peter Parker. At a bit, times, yeah, I like. I really like the main dude. I know him yeah. from Cobra Kai, which he was really good in. That's a great show. If you haven't seen it, good show. Go go go! I haven't finished it. Oh, you in, started it. I started oh, well, like yeah, the you first started season. When it was on like YouTube or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was a while back. Days, mm. Yeah. But haven't caught up since. Maybe I will someday. I haven't caught up either. I'm like a season. It was pretty. It was a good show. Um, I thought it was good. I thought the family was pretty good. I thought was, the uncle was good as well. Uncle Man's yep. kind of funny. Yeah. Took the main stage. I thought um the romantic interest. I don't remember any of the characters' names. In the Jenny. 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 Jenny Cord. That was her name. What's who's the main character again? No, I, I fucking don't know. Jamie? Yeah. Jaime. 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 Oh, yeah. I know how it's spelled, so I'm yeah. very sorry. Jaime. Yeah, because the racist lady kept calling Jaime. him Jamie. Yeah. Yeah, the racist lady. She was like over I'm not better racist. than the racist lady. She just, oh, she's, she just keeps calling people by the wrong name throughout the entire movie. Why don't we yeah. search it up? A girl? No, no, no. Jaime. You were right. I believe it was Jaime. Yeah. Jaime I feel like Reyes. the love interest, it's either that she wasn't written good or she just awesome. kind of was boring yeah or did it but she had a megan fox moment at the end bro on the motorcycle yes. you know yes but like that's her character is just that so, oh look kind of hot lady <laughs> who is rich <laughs> and kind of helps out wow yeah that's kind of true she's nothing that yeah it's, yeah yeah she's the typical from the evil family but the good one yeah, but she's a black mm. sheep of the family, really. Yeah. True that. True that. There's nothing really about this movie that's like super spectacular standout stuff. I like the cultural influences. I thought they <clears> did <throat> that stuff well from my viewing of it. Yeah, because it seemed mm. important to the story, and you know he's just doing his stuff. <laughs> Yeah. He's yeah, a guy. It's, it's, set, it's set in a... It's set in know. El Paso. Yeah, El Paso. But it doesn't look anything like it's El Paso. Like, uh, it's like th that meme. It's like El Paso uh, if something something and then the future. It, just look like, it looks like fucking cyberpunk. Yes. You know how yeah, just mm. all the different places joined together into a big... And the very normal looking outskirts. Yeah. It Puerto Rico much. I need to get back into Cyberpunk because the new expansion's out. Hmm. Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Uh, I that... guess there is an uh, uh, undeniable... I don't know if it's even an undertone, but like, we got our racial conflicts here. Yeah. Yes. I think they went a bit overboard in yeah, terms I feel of the like... villain. She's just yeah. like super racist. Yeah, I feel like this is like... Just like... Very on the nose. I, I, like, like, I hate you Mexicans. She's, she's bad. The Mexicans yeah. suck. Yeah, it does kind of her vibe. Yeah. I mean, even even the family's like, man, fuck them white people. Yeah, but th that's for real, though. That's kind of for real. Yeah, but like, I already know that. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. You if know? we sink down to their level, we're no better than them. But, yeah, but they point, are. You know? Nah, she was way nah. worse. She's like the worst. Well, like she got horrendous. the advantage of being rich. She did be rich. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Being rich is an advantage now, is it? I mean, it is. Uh, yeah. It it is. Is. Whoa, <laughs> <that's> crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Crazy. And but... she's Brazilian, apparently. Or was that the dad? No, that was Jenny. Just Jenny? She's or the Brazilian. mom was Brazilian? Probably the mom. Or... Shout out to Brazil. I don't know. Yeah, shout out to Brazil. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, oh, that yeah. just proves like the dad is, he likes Southern Americans. Well, we don't know who the dad is at all. Yeah. 
Yeah. But why why is she part Brazilian? I guess maybe the mum. They have lore. Probably. Yeah. 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 Wait, did I ever tell you that I used to read the original Blue Beetle comic when it was in public domain and DC hadn't acquired oh. the character? Huh. You might have so mentioned that. Back in the that, 30s, yeah. there was like a run called Blue Beetle. And the original costume is has a cameo in the movie. Yes. Right, right. Yeah. And that's it. Because Blue Beetle, back in those days, was really just a costume. Hmm. Had no powers. No beetle. Nothing. No be- yeah, that's all new DC All stuff. blue, no beetle. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, um, let's get into uh, writing. Like, look, it's, uh, if, in my opinion, same as Shazam. I think it, the movie's mm. pretty funny. Sometimes it is, like, laugh out loud funny. <laughs> Other times it's like, eh, eh, eh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um... And I think that's kind of like the best part of it. It had one like pretty powerful emotional scene, but it also kind of came out of nowhere. That's like, yeah. And the rest of it's generic fucking Iron Man, Spider Man, Mishmash of all of that shit. Green Lantern Yay. in there a little bit. Blue Man, Beetle Man, Blue, Blue Beetle Man, man. Blue, Blue Man Group, <laughs> Beetle Juice. Uh, <laughs> you can probably draw a connection with this film, to, with any of these films, to anything. Yeah. Draw a connection you know, between uh, Blue Beetle and Harry Potter. They're Warner Brothers. They're Mexican. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing much to really... I don't know, do you have anything in particular about the writing? Yeah. I think it's fine. Did the dad... Actually, nah. Maybe that's a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You you said all the good points. Maybe it's just like, I might just be kind of sick of origin stories, maybe. That's the other thing. It's just like, mm, no, every superhero like, origin yeah. movie is the same because, like, I guess there's nothing much you can do. Which is why, like, the MCU origin for stories. the Spider-Man movies decided we're not going to do an origin story. Yes. And that was a good point. That was good because it was like... It's been done many was, times. The whole trilogy or... was the origin story, I would say. Oh. But, uh, yeah. Yes. Blue Beetle. Hmm. Blue Beetle. All right. Uh, like cinematography. Like. Mm. Sounds okay. I like uh, the colors. Very colorful movie. Oh, yeah. But... It's got that purple and shit. Mm-hmm, oh, blue. this movie looks like fucking Power Rangers. It does. <laughs> and like Spy Kids. Oh, yeah. Which reminds me, I'm kind of looking forward to the Spy Kids review. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I mean, I was, Spy, I was a Spy Kids man back in the day. He was a Spy Kid kid. I was a Spy Kid kid, and I'm... Like a goat? to see it. Yeah, I was that. Spy goat? Kids was the goat. <laughs> oh! Uh, see, I can't yeah. talk now. <laughs> I, just, uh, I just ate my words. There was one good, you know, when they're having the fight at the house... Mm. The cops come and shit. They had like a one take moment. When the ops come, it went for like five I'll seconds. Fuck it so right. Oh, I fell asleep hey. at one point. So his ah, first encounter good. with the red man, and they have a fight or something. I just fell. I just slept through the fight. Was it? Was it good? No. <laughs> okay. I mean, oh, no, yeah, it's it just not good. Be like... Very classically, how does the uncle know exactly when to hit the brake so that the thing in the back of his ah uh, spoilers. Oh, I don't yeah, know I mean, about this. So I guess so, this is a spoiler. Is it a spoiler? Well, he's maybe he's you know a professional stunt driver. You never know. Yeah, but also he seems like he knows his shit. Yeah, he it's established he's that he knows his shit. Man. Oh, did you hear? Oh, this is a different thing. But like, did you hear about the the funny Mexican um, alien? Just ended there. Funny alien. Mexican. Oh, yes. What do you call them? The little corpses. Yeah. The corpses that were found like five years ago and verified to not be real. But then yes. for some reason they were like, hey, we just found these corpses. No, you didn't. Apparently the guy in, in, in the in the Congress hearing in the white lab coat yeah. is a known uh, alien man. Who, yeah, he's like a weird yeah. dude. Yeah. But hey, shout out to the Mexican parliament. Which builds shit. my conspiracy of there's something going on with the, the world's governments. Okay, they're trying to say aliens are real to try and distract from something real happening because america did the mm. same thing like a month before that remember? yeah but america real if you draw attention to yourself there was no evidence they showed but the government the presented it. yeah huh? you... footage no, they didn't at the hearing where he was like aliens are real and well not on me, that bro, hearing I've but got uh, evidence. hearings before. trust me bro 
I've got the evidence. Trust me, bruv. Yeah. Well, they have released, at least the CIA did release footage. But it UAPs? is separate, yeah, the, the, the United Australia parties. Yeah. Uh, but they're like, they could be anything. It's like, yes, yeah, very but sick. they still are UFOs. What's the guy's name UAPs. in the United Australia party again? Clive? Clive? Oh, Clive, yeah. Clive Palmer's just a fucking alien. He's yeah, actually yeah, the villain. There's probably a little alien man hiding inside that big body of his. Oh. He's a rich white person as well, so yes. Blue Beetle. <laughs> actually, well, yeah. the other thing. From what I remember, and I may be completely wrong, still don't know what the Blue Beetle Scarab thing is. That doesn't get explained in this, right? Yeah. My friend watching it said that was never explained. They were just saying, like, oh, daddy was looking for it. It was just cool. an interesting. Yeah. See at the start, the terrible yeah. one. Yeah, where they find in the thing. No, before that one, where I was like, Phew. you mean the credits? No, I think it was at it was at the very start, isn't it? Where the yeah, you, things were flying. The credit, yeah, okay. that was the credit sequence. Shit, credits. Wait, I, like uh, when the, no. you see the blue beetle doing the, and it's the funny blue, and then it goes blue beetle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a funny animated where the, sequence the where the blue beetle. beetle along with many other beetles are flying in space and it crash goes through a planet and makes the planet explode before landing on earth that no it, it was at the start it wasn't I'm the not title forgetting. okay oh, yeah. they did say it's alien so well yeah we know it's an alien thing but like that's the real mexican no, alien nothing about it i guess yeah okay about that. they, guess they, they are aliens in the sequel Illegal aliens. Oh. Yeah. So they turn the... So the first movie is Blue Beetle, and then the next movie is Gay Beetles. Rainbow. Mm-hmm. Rainbow Beetles. Get a fucking rhinoceros beetle. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Ladybug. Move on, please. I'm trying to think of how this movie started. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, you, you, yeah. it started. It started I like, like how... any movie started. Oh, uh, actually, they have an interesting conflict in the beginning. No, they didn't. Fuck you. The beginning <laughs> they did. They were wait, like, wait, wait, fuck, that's the conflict I'm somewhat starting to have right now. Kid go, uh, graduating college and be like, hey, where's my job? Yeah, that was all set up. It doesn't go anywhere. Well, it kind of does. It does. He it's gets a like job. He finds, his, he finds his like purpose and what he's going to yeah. do, right? Still doesn't really have a job. Is Blue Beetle Blue a job? Beetle, yeah. I don't think it is. But the lesson we learned is nepotism wins. Which? I oh, mean, he didn't get ne- Oh, he kind of. Yes. Nah, he, got, he earned that interview thing because he stuck up for the lady. Yeah. Nah. Not really. Nep- nah. It's kind of. I, don't, I think. I guess it's kind of nepotism. But the real question is they say they're going to close up their shop or something at the start because they don't uh, have enough money. What yes. happened with that? Uh, it got blown up. Their shop? Their house. Their house did, but their shop didn't. Uh, I think they were talking about their house. My mango oh. is to blow no, up. They said they had to... Wait. They said they had to sell their house... No, sorry. They said they... Did they say they have to sell their store or something? Yeah. Was it um, a house? In order to try and pay the mortgage for the house or some shit. Something like that. Because they got rid of their car, right? So and they're losing they both the, the house and the yeah. store. Yeah. But what happened to the store? I don't know. Did the they already data. lost it? I don't know. Mm. I thought they were in the pro- oh no, I was, I don't know. Can they claim insurance in that house? Maybe it wasn't insured. No. So when they put back the house with the entire neighborhood, oh fuck! Put back the house. <laughs> we oh. spoiled the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't I know when it happened. The money. <laughs> you said what happened. I you don't want know my money back. Yeah, back. When it, it happened? It went over my head. That you said. When uh, Who? Well, let's rush through this and I'll get spoiled again. Okay. Um, the cinematography was all right, I guess. Oh, yeah. the visuals, right? Mm. The CG cool. sometimes is really good. Mm-hmm. You know the tank. You know that the they had a blue beetle tank. tank. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. They it looked so good. I was like, this is really good CGI. But then sometimes things looked absolute ass. Sometimes the red dude's suit looked good. Other times it looked yeah. ass. Yeah. 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 Sometimes Blue Beetle's suit looked good. Sometimes it looked ass. ass. 
Did they have physical costumes for that? Ass, they ass, did ass, have ass. physical. I think maybe that was the thing. It mm. looks good when it was physical costume. Probably, yeah. But, um, good ass, good yeah, ass. I, I liked a lot of the ass. cool sets they used. Felt very, very Power Rangers y. Yeah, well, Which, once again, this that was kind of. Even though I liked it, I felt like it was just totally weird with the whole. The, the police brutality that happens. Because that, that was like the fucking crux of the movie. That was like. Yeah. The point where everything was just going downhill. That's when Blue Beetle would need to rise up, you know? Yeah, you when, better rise up. <laughs> if they, they used the police once. Yeah. And why only once? What do you mean? Besides that, they just sent the Red Man, right? To get no, Blue Beetle Man. they fight more people. They, 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 they fight the police every yeah. time? Remember... Every, every, oh, this is kind of a spoiler, I was going to say. Um, we'll talk, because that's yeah. entirely third act stuff, yeah, but yeah. we'll talk about that in a second. Um, sound music stuff. They got the Latin good. music. Good soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, they I had a... It's, it's okay. I think like a, the theme was pretty cool. They had a Spanish yeah. cover of some song, I remember. Yeah, I, I loved when that happened. They did two. Wait. Because they kept, they notice. used it as like a, what do you call it, when they're setting the scene. Uh, do, there's one in the opening. Yeah, when they go over Palmera Beach yeah. or whatever it is, yeah. I forgot what song it was. But yeah, but yeah it's I a song I knew. I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a song I knew as well. I was like, oh. Ho, ho, ho. I yes. remember the Blue Beetle theme being pretty cool. I don't know. Hmm. Good. All right. Death so moves. yeah, we'll talk some spoiler stuff now. Oh, um, welcome yeah, to the spoiler spoiler just, just to reiterate, um, they break into the facility at the end and they fight a bunch of those guards because yeah. the entire family is armed at this point. It's not like before. Mm. Yeah, they guards or they police? They don't. They're like fucking private military. Private military. Yeah. yeah. But the one that uh, reminded me, what state of the world is this DC universe? I don't, I still don't really understand what's going on. This is yeah. meant to be the rebooted DCU, mm, but like, true. what is the connection with like? How did he get rebooted? Where are we? They mentioned Batman. Yes, I fell asleep at that point, so I don't actually know if they mentioned Batman. Did they mention I think Batman? They, they did, did right? Yeah, yeah, I remember something. They just said the Batman is a fascist thing. Yeah, the yeah. guy said that. That's yeah in the trailer as well. I mean, he probably mm. is. Yeah. Is part of the, the previous universe? Or like, is no, this... he's probably a fascist. Oh, okay. <laughs> In this universe as well. Yeah. Because I yeah, remember that yeah. DC got to the point where they're... Because I remember Black Adam kind of just annoyed me a little bit because it was just like... Everything is so high-tech now. I don't remember it being as high-tech uh, a few years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, true. It kind of just it's suddenly... Because they future. wanted to catch... It's like they just wanted to catch up to where the MCU is at. Bear in mm. mind, the MCU did a huge time jump, and they had yes. Tony Stark and Vibranium and shit. So, like, maybe this is their Tony Stark. Oh, but yeah, Black Adam had something like Unobtainium or something in there. Oh right? yeah, they had some sort of Vibranium shit. They were mining. Yeah, is Black Adam gonna be part of the scene? The entire time we're watching the movie, we go, "Where's Black Adam?" Mm. <laughs> no Black Adam. I don't Adam. think he's gonna be in, in the next there. wormhole. Yeah. Um, um, wait, so they only used the police when they raided the house. And at the facility, right? If they're police or military. Well, they're not, they're not police. They're just private. Militia. Which includes the house? The house is not a part of the private. Like they raid on the house. Yeah, that was like a private militia. So it's not police brutality. No, nah, but it was like... I guess more of an, yeah, it was an analogy. I can see through the, mm. the mind. You can, you can I, can, I can see the metaphors. But like, the analogy wouldn't work if it's not specifically the police. As what in, do you mean? <laughs> That's what an analogy it, is. Yeah, it's meant like, to be not the specific thing. But it's meant to echo this thing. That's by definition analogy, right? But if they're not state funded, nor are they state apparatus, <laughs> they aren't serving the people. Therefore, they can this do that shit. This is a corrupt world, bro. I think, he's corrupt just, world. I think he's just looking into deep to be surface level about it. Well, I guess, yeah. yeah. 
But also, yeah. this is a cropped. That's the other thing. I don't really understand the status quo of this world. That's why I'm saying, what the fuck yeah. is DC world? But my understanding is, it's a fucking like cropped world, and they essentially like the. Well, they did establish it's like, like oh, a the, the politicians, bro. The, the corrupt yeah. fucking business It'll people rule the place. Basically, world, yeah. the welcome cops, to yeah. New Philadelphia, Walter. <laughs> but yeah, that they did establish that. The that rich people be bad. That was a pretty hardcore scene, and he killed the dad, and I was like, damn, it's pretty emotional. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the no, dad did for a second. This movie so far, it's like it's like a kids movie. There's a lot of like Power, power Rangers, mm. Spy Kids aesthetics. You could totally take it into this, and that scene happened. Yeah. I was like, I don't think this movie is appropriate for kids anymore. I mean, did, he did get naked. Who did? Excuse me? The guy. Who? Oh. Yeah, this is yeah, the blue beetle strips hey, you me. naked. Oh, no, I was there for that part, yeah. yeah no. He's getting naked. That's pretty funny, yeah. He gets naked, like, twice. Oh, do you know who the voice of um, Blue Beetle is? Not... Oh, the, the robot? Yeah. I don't know. It's Becky G. You know, like, the singer. I don't know. Do you... Oh, I she don't. did that song about singing in the shower? Singing in the shower. Yeah. Wait, no, that's that's running from the devil. <laughs> running from the devil. Van Halen. Oh. See, he knows Van Halen. I don't know Becky G. Different song. She then. did a song with J-Hope called Chicken okay. Noodle Soup, if you remember that one. Mm. Oh, I, I recall yeah. that song existing. Yeah. What was I thinking of? I was thinking of... Uh... What was there was something? The point being, they did fight... And... The more militia at the compound. That's what I was going to say. Becky G fights the war yes. militia. But not state police. Therefore... Well, no, they were never the state police. Yeah. Not... It is not oppression done by the state. Why that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. That's what still. I'm getting. Because yeah. that means the, the analogy doesn't work. Because that means it's oppression by the corporates. Yeah, but she she's like... She is the state. You can argue that. Yeah. She's also racist, so think about that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, I found it in my head. Naked like the Flash. <laughs> what? Because he also gets naked. Remember? I don't remember that movie. Yeah. It's been wiped from my mind, bro. When, like a uh, flashpoint uh, happened. I don't even mind, know. Uh, <laughs> let me I ran so fast, I phased yeah. through yeah, my yeah. clothes. Let me let me remind oh, yeah, you. Yeah, he that, that, that bit. <laughs> I got that. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Wait, did yes. I get it right? Yeah, that's what happened. Oh shit! I didn't even mean for that to be right. Yeah. Oh, now I remember. Yeah. The police are coming now because I said those things. The about police them. are coming. Yeah. Oh, that's actually real. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, the other thing you were saying or something. Oh yeah, they blow up the house. That was a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> and, okay. Please. Yeah. So, so I was thinking, you know how the the neighborhood get together at the end and they are all going to rebuild yeah. the house. Does it get taken from them by the state? Regardless. Um. Why would they take it? Because they were always going to take the house. But, but I guess it maybe uh, it's going to get paid for by Jenny yeah, or something. Yeah. That that girl wants to pay for it. Oh. Wait, didn't she say, like, I'm going to replace the house? So are, they, are she still making the, the neighborhood build it? Uh, she said she's not going to build up the neighborhood. No. That was her speech she gives. She's like, I'm, she gives her I am Iron Man speech where she no, goes, no, no. like, no more weapons. Also, we're not going to gentrify neighborhoods. Clap, clap, clap. I am Iron Man. <laughs> Can I get a cheeseburger? An American cheeseburger? Yay. The cyberpunk, what's the cyberpunk city called? Uh, Cyber City. Welcome. I'm trying to think. Night City! Night City! You yeah. said welcome. I was like, welcome to Night City. Uh, That's what I was trying to use to remember. Yeah. yeah. See, I'm good. All right. Let's, yeah. let's go. Has Anything else up. we can talk post credit scene, Angus? Is that... Uh, oh, I I kind of don't Wait. like the sister. Why? Um, she's like she was one of my favorite characters. Yeah, but like oh, she's but like why? funny, but then she's like who, who she's the one who started all these problems, you know, <laughs> by so like by pushing our guy Jaime to do shit that he don't want to do. Nah, what do you mean? She's kind of she likes being. She dick, gave him know? a job. Yeah. That's because he's broke, bro. That's his That's fault one good for being thing. broke. Yeah. Then, uh, 
bro, she man. keeps like he gets them fired by confronting the lady. That's his fault. Yeah. He takes the scarab. His fault. No, that's he has uh, his own, the lady's he has free fault. will. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he takes it home. And then the entire family tells her to open it. How's it the sister's fault? Cause she gave him a job, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> That's what you mean? Uh, and also, she was being a dick. We're sometimes, back, guys. Man. Yeah, that's just the guys. We're back. Fun. They're just having fucking fun. Oh, how we've missed this. We're back. Guys. Also, she keeps complaining about like, damn, bro, you're never gonna get a job. <laughs> yeah, that's because he's never gonna get a job. Then she gives him a job. So who's laughing now? Us. Yeah, because she gave him the job. Nepotism goes back so to it that. It was about nepotism about all nepotism. along. I think the sister's based. Yeah. What's Jaime doing with his degree, huh? Mm, uh, he's off fucking CEOs. Yeah. Law degree. Degrees more like these. What are these? <laughs> these? <laughs> <laughs> Where were you going with that? I was gonna say like these nuts. Oh, oh that doesn't go oh, with the degrees. <laughs> Chris Pine. Who's Chris Pine? Who's Chris Pine nuts? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Did you have anything else? <laughs> uh, I mean, if she wasn't, <laughs> if she keeps saying you can't get a job. When he even, he didn't even, you know, start to find, he, ha he hasn't started f finding jabs, you know, he just graduated. No, time passed, bro. They did a time jump, bro. Alright. They did a it time did. jump. <laughs> See, imagine if I they kept went, like, saying to you, you ain't getting a jab when you're you searching for a sleep. job. Bro, that's what I say to people who don't have jobs. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. I was gonna say I was actually gonna name drop somebody. I would like oh. I would refrain. I would refrain. You know, help someone. Maybe maybe somebody in our friendship circle doesn't have a job, and I tell them to get a job every time I talk to them. I don't know. I know a lot of unemployed people. Yeah. Tell us after the podcast. <laughs> if, you, if you if you pay one dollar a month for oh, yeah. special paid the content. Out. We will out you, yeah. whoever hasn't doesn't have this person, yeah. mystery person that doesn't have a job. <laughs> anyway, um, can we go yes. post credits? Yes, please. All right, post credit scene one. Black Ten Adam. Cord is alive. Black Adam is not. We thought it might be Black Adam, but it wasn't. Just it's just Ted Cord is alive. The OG, Blue Beetle. But not the OG OG. I want to specify yeah. that. Only I get to know the OG OG. I'm gatekeeping the OG OG. Secret. Yeah. Behind our one dollar paywall. Yeah, you know, ah. you get access to this public domain character. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So he's alive. I kind of didn't care. Yes. He do be like, yo. I feel like this is good enough to warrant a sequel. Like that's fine. I'm just sure. like. I'm just. I'm sick of DC. In all honesty. Diet Coke. Dees. Dees. E. C. C. Dees. Dees. C. Dees. Me rolling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Verdict time. All right. Well, I mean, the second post credit scene, it's yeah. like nothing. No. It's just like a reference to one of the ad things in the movie. It's Sponsored by like, a Corolla Tacoma. Oh, yeah. And the people next to me were like, fuck this. Mm. When oh. after the credits, uh, like the second post credit scene, they were like, fuck this. And left. And I was like, damn. Oh, the guy next to me was having a great time throughout the entire movie. I wish I was him. He was mm, just going, ha, 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 yeah, woo. <laughs> and, he's like, and then when, like, a movie would, like, suit up or something, he'd be like, no, oh, my God. Like, did he, and this is genuine. Like, this said, I, I wish I was him, I think he might be bro. on, like, ketamine, no. No, maybe he's just, he's maybe not as um cynical as us after seeing so many movies, especially mm. superhero. Oh, oh, glad he enjoyed the movie. That's what movies are about. Yeah. Cinema. As they say. 
Yeah, and I think it's it's pretty good. Shamama. Yeah. What did I give um, Shazam to? I think I gave it a six. Maybe. Yeah. If you go to watch a movie, but it's DC having milk shoved up their ass, is that mm. the cinema? That was terrible. <laughs> Let's go with final mm. verdict. Please. I'm going to move on for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you show this to your friend? Yeah. Yeah. Did they at least uh, follow our Insta page? I showed them that. TikTok. TikTok. Follow TikTok. At unholy.pod. I showed them unholy.pod on Spotify. Did you show and in- on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Just to show me and the, us going to see Barbie. Mm-hmm. And then them being the sort of conservative Chinese person that they are like. Oh, they're like, so, oh, red flag. Red flag. What, what, wouldn't oh, all the Barbie, ladies. Go, at, go broke. Wouldn't all the ladies at the like cinema the think crazy, you're oh, gay? Bob- Barbie's no. the highest grossing movie of the year now. Beat hey. Mario. So, you know, I say oh. go work, go break. Nice. <laughs> so they, they're thinking that we're gay. I mean, maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They should catch like, us at you. Okay. Family friend, as in this person is hey, one generation acquaint- above me. Okay. And they're friends with my parents. Damn. Family acquaintance. Yeah. Second gen product. That's what children <laughs> are. Very How many generations do you think we're at? We're probably pretty deep in the hundreds. Only a hundred. I, I mean, know. if you th- if you count the monkeys, I don't count the monkeys. Yeah, Fuck the monkeys. Yeah. Well, when, where, where do we nah, start? Okay. We're worse than the monkeys, bro. I was on the plane back, and then you know, Yo. in flight entertainment, and you see, what was it? Yeah, two yes. people in a row. Your one watching favorite movies. One, two people watching two very good movies. Jack disagrees on one part. Hey, it's a me. <laughs> it's Mario. A and then the person behind them watching Spider Man. Good movie. That's cool. That's but will cool. the sequel ever get made? Probably not. Anyway, so yeah, verdict. Verdict. Uh, uh, Blue here. Beetle. You know, you know, this was better than Shazam 2. Oh. Uh-huh. What did I give Shazam to? Like a four well, or I'm a five? I'm happy for you that you enjoyed it so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to give this one a light six. Yo. I guess I have fun. You get I'll give it a 6.9. Right, right. I liked it about as much as Shazam 2, but I don't exactly remember what I gave Shazam 2. I think it was between a five and a six or something. But I'll give this one a six. Mm. Yo, that's that a combined us... average of six point three, pretty much exactly. Yeah. Maybe, mm. yeah, three ways. All right, we're gonna do three ways from Sunday. We're gonna do one more quick review, and that's gonna Quickie. be for Teenage Mutant Ninja Tortoises, Mutant Mayhem, 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 Mayhem. Yeah, as opposed oh. to Mayhem. It's what like I just realized. They're fucking tortoises. They would be. What the? I have, what? I just realized that they're tortoises, not turtles. They're fucking turtles. They said the movie, they're turtles. Yeah, but it, like they're, they're, when they were animals, they were fucking tortoises. What do you mean with the what? Yeah, they were tortoises before they transformed. In this one. Yeah. Why? Because tortoises mean, don't have flippers; they have feet. Good point, but they all look the same to me. Racist. <laughs> These guys are kind of the half of this here. I think they just mislabeled them in the creation. Yeah, because no one turtles. Because turtles rolls off the tongue better than tortoises. Teenage mutant. I like turtles. Ninja turtles. I like tortoises. They both work. All right, movie. Movie. <clears throat> First impressions. Hey, the back. Yeah, the back. Oh, this is a reboot. So yeah. they're not really back. This yeah, is. Yeah. Well, what's the last? Uh, Ninja Turtle Bayham. movie. Bayham. Was that the Michael Bay one? Which, by the way, were not made by Michael Bay to clarify. We just say that they are. Even oh. though they're just produced by him. It's uh, made yeah, by a different yeah, dude. Yeah. I don't remember what happened in the last one. I'm pretty sure I watched it a long time ago. I've heard they're not that bad. Mm-hmm. But I remember them being like big, big bulky guys. I, they're pretty much just the Transformers, yeah. aren't they? They're just like but fighting and shit. Turtles, yeah. Just going, hey... 
I'm gonna say something racist now. Hey, probably. I'm a walking. We said we said the pizza. Yeah. We we no Italians. We live We're in the, in the sewers, sewer. You know. How does this film market itself as as like the like the brainchild of teenage dream of Seth Rogen or whatever? I guess so. Teenage dream. I forget Seth how they. How it was marketed in the trailers. That, that it, it sounds a bit sad. From the teenage mind of Seth Rogen. Yeah. Because yeah. to me, yeah. Like All you watch it. interviews oh. have been like, wait, you remember when I was a kid? Yeah. This really feels like <laughs> a teenage kid who fucking loves Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and taking his spin on it. But what if he grew up in our era? In our society. Our Which society. would have been me. I fucking love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What is your teenage dream of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I had, I think, Raphael's size and and Leo's katanas and Michelangelo's nunchucks. Yo. And I might have had Donatello's Bro, thick. Donatello is literally me. <clears throat> um, actually. Hey, in this movie, all he talks yeah. about is K-pop, bro. Oh, yeah. No, he's also Finally, a weave. someone that speaks my language. Oh, he's also a weave. Yeah. That's yeah. on me, that's on me. Except for One Piece. Oh, Attack on like, Titan! Yeah. Yeah, it do be that guy. Yeah. I got a couple of those things for it. I, got, I knew he was going to sing Butter, and um, he was going to reference Attack on Titan. And then like, you're like Michelangelo, short and orange. I'm not that orange. I was hugging a Michelangelo plushie today. Is it him? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm not that plushable. You're so cute. Lois. Oh. I'm a marketable plushie. <laughs> Hey Lois! Hey that. Lois! <laughs> That's fucking funny. Anyway, uh, let's get on with this because we don't have that much time. Yes. Yes. But I like I like how they're kind of actual teenagers in this one. Mm. I'm just a teenage bad bit. You know. Yes. I'm just can. Anything else? Anywhere? Do you think else? they live, listen to Olivia Rodrigo's new album Guts? They probably, probably would. Probably did. I haven't listened to it because I forgot. It's really good. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I think Fat Time I liked it. I liked is it, it better than the the oh, the the debut. See, the debut is kind of a classic, in my opinion. Okay, it's a modern classic. I think it is a modern classic. It's it's a milestone in our generation. I ju- in terms of Girls pop generation. and stuff, I I, I honestly think, would say yeah. yes. I do think Olivia's the new the new face of like singer songwriter pop. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Ooh. Yeah, they're teenagers, you know, they're turtles. Turtles. I, I like how this movie looks. They do be taking cues and they're, um, they're, p- they're p- running with it. The movie, like mm-hmm. uh, Spider, Spider Boy. But they did a good job, you know. Um, quite, I, like, I like the villain. Because he's just racist. He, is he, he's Ice Cube, right? Yeah, yep. Ice yeah. Cube. I like Ice Cube. Yeah. He's he's chill. He's chill. He's somebody's not chill. And that's mm. pretty cool. Yeah, he's a he's a fly. Flies yeah, yeah. are cool. That's cool. They're super. Super fly. Oh, there's a there's a bunch of other sewer animals. Yeah. They're all these are all from Turtle Law except from mm. for Superfly. He's a new creation for this movie. Okay. Right. Cause um Cause the doctor guy at the start the is meant to be a is villain. Is meant yeah. to be the fly. Yeah. But he died. Uh, you spin on it. Smoke. You spin that's on spoiler. it. Yeah. That's because that's what you're going into thinking that he's... Okay. The, yeah, I guess. All right. He was played yeah. by King Carlo Esposito. Yeah. For like oh, three seconds. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Three seconds indeed. Cool cast. Cool cast. There's a cameo in this that I fucking loved. Who was I wouldn't say who it is. Okay. But he had a cameo in a TV show I was watching recently. <clears throat> and when he he comes right at the end of the series, and I was like, fuck yeah, that's so good. Mm. But, um, well, actually, I can kind of, it's not really a spoiler, actually. It's just two cast members. Mm. I think I had an idea, but I missed it. I think I, was, I wasn't watching too close. Yeah. yeah. There's also the Australian, Rose yes. Burn, hey, who I know the from croc? Insidious. They, they weren't the croc. Were they the croc? Yeah. Who else? <laughs> Not an alligator, a crocodile. Yeah, yeah. fucking hundred percent, it is an alligator, right? They all look Maybe it was from the zoo. Yeah, all right. I like uh, Mr. Splinter. 
Master Splinter. Fucking love Splinter. Splinter was probably my favorite part of the movie. Yeah. Jackie Chan, so he's so mm. funny. This movie kind of gave me the vibes of the Lego Ninjago movie a little bit. Because uh, he, plays, be a, he plays Sensei Wu in yeah. that mm, one. Yeah. And they both have a similar vibe, kind of. So this guy's more of a rat. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's 2023. Don't fuck. It's not good language. <laughs> nah, but I, I'm a bit of a rat, so like, it's okay. I oh. like, you know. Oh. Hey, what's wrong with rats? Yeah, rats are pretty cool. I saw a big ass fucking rat near my work the other day, and I was like, "That's a big rat." Cool. I was in China, and I was in a restaurant, and there was a rat in the walls because there was like glass wall. walls, and behind the glass wall is like yeah. decorated rock wall that's like you're sitting inside a garden, is it and there's a the rat crawling rat? around inside the oh. crevices of the rock. That's is pretty that cool. part of the feature? Sure. Was it a rat or a mouse? Rat. Big Yo. tail. Huge yeah. tail. Yeah. Big, big thing. Big rat. Big Why rat. would they use glass as walls? So that you don't go touching the rock and it's not disturbed. Yeah. You don't want to disturb the rat. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um yeah. So I, I also enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. I was going in expecting kind of like Spider Verse. And then yeah. for some reason I was I don't know, maybe I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't Spider Verse, at least narratively. So I feel mm. like I think this is a really good kids movie. It has like good elements that adults enjoy, but like I don't think this is a super. I think Spider Man is like a more of an adult movie than a. It's kind of like it's a kids ish movie, but I feel young, like young yeah, adult. It's like well, yeah, like tweens. Yeah. I think this yeah. one is a little bit more. Like the plot is very simple. It's like a pretty straightforward. A lot of the humor. Uh, there's a lot of really good humor. There's actually like majority good humor. Some of it. Is very. What's the generation below us? Gen Alpha. Yeah, there's uh, a little bit yeah. of that humor in there. That was like, uh... which I only heard like, honestly, a few weeks ago. The term Gen Alpha. Really? Yeah, I think I've heard it. I, I know. Long. Yeah, I only hear like because like Z. we ran out of letters after Z. Yeah, everyone talks shit about Gen Z, but no one talks shit about Gen Alpha. Like literally, no, I don't hear that's anyone. That's our turn. When when they yeah, but no one does. Why do we never talk shit because about? Because they're it? all fucking toddlers, man. Are you, are you going to talk shit about toddlers? Oh, maybe it is Gen Z. I guess it's just like a few, just like people the, the, younger than us, yeah. but not like Jed Alpha. I guess like the later half of Zoomers. Kids who grow up on TikTok and shit, and like yeah, yeah. There's a lot of like stuff like that. I technically, guess. we're like early, on the earlier side of Gen Z. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of pop culture references, and to me personally, I don't think I think a majority of those jokes don't really land. Specifically, yeah. the BTS jokes made me kind of roll my eyes a little bit. It did make me go, "Oh my god, it's me!" But also, like, yeah, that was kind of. I don't know. I, maybe it's because I fucking hate when just like you think of BTS, you just go butter. It's like. When they have a discography yeah, yeah. of better music and then the English stuff is kind of shit. Because mm. the parents wouldn't get it. They'd be like, yeah. what? See, I'll make a movie BTS. specifically for you where I'll reference like um, classics like If I Ruled the World. Do you remember oh, that one? Yeah, West Side, you know? Uh, that's, that's the, that's the good stuff. Side. Yeah, too cool for school stuff, you know? Yeah. We are Bulletproof Part 2, you know? Mm -hmm. I know. The, I liked um, some stuff. Yeah, so kind of like first. Yeah, sorry. First impressions. I think it was pretty good. I think it was amazing. I think it's, but it, like, I think it would work even better for kids. Yeah, yeah it does it have kids some movie. of those nostalgia things for the adults, specifically mm. with the soundtrack. Very. Did they? Yeah. Wait, they didn't have no sleep to Brooklyn. This one, did they? No. They better not have. Okay, cool. They had like they um. May. They did have like actual good music jokes because the music will implement into jokes. Like they'll be singing the songs as yeah, they do stuff. This is the Mario movie. It's okay. Um, but they're from Brooklyn. They ain't ah. from Brooklyn. Where they from? They're from New York. That's why we were saying I'm walking here. The Brooklyn's pizza. in New York. Brooklyn's in yeah. It's like a sub. This is like New York, New York. New York's a state. Fuck. Oh, no, Brooklyn is in New York. Yeah, I'm thinking think of New Jersey, is? bro. Oh, fucking Jersey. Fucking New Jersey, you New Jersey. fucking... Fuck. Yeah. What is it called in, like, Brooklyn? What? What's... It's not, um, suburb. That's why Brooklyn Nine-Nine is a show. Oh, it's, fuck. Uh, they call it a, like, uh... What is it? Not a... Not a... I forgot the... Yeah, I forgot what they... 
they, they a cancels. burrow a burrow that's what yeah say. Yeah, I remember that because in Assassin's Creed, oh, you go boroughs. around the boroughs where yeah. yeah, the Bronx, Brooklyn, who, who Staten knew that Island London was a city. <laughs> London. I thought England was a city. Right? England is my city. Yeah. He's not a kid from Queens. That's like Spider sure. Man. Yeah. Um, let me think. Yeah, so you want to just go into the nitty gritty? Let me hit the nitty gritty. Alright, so acting, voice acting, I thought it was mm -hmm. all really good. I thought I tremendous it. cast. Yeah. Particular standout. I might as well just fucking this isn't really it's not really a spoiler if I mentioned a cast member, right? It's not like a Yeah. Nah. There's a gecko called who's played by Paul Ross. Yeah. <laughs> he was my uh, favorite character. Yeah, 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 other than yeah, Splinter. Yeah. Fucking funny. Funny man. He's probably the character of the mutants that had the most character because a lot yes. of them didn't do anything they kind of just like the, i can't remember the like any of, i remember that seth rogan was one of the rhinos and so yeah. was john cena i yep. think i could tell seth rogan more than i could tell john cena honestly yeah seth rogan just does his laugh <laughs> <laughs> i was donkey kong donkey kong yeah. i was pickle remember that what pickle Oh yeah, that got like uh, removed people. from all streaming services. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Are they, uh, yeah. are they just not gonna acknowledge it anymore? There's a recent trend in like every streaming service to start to start in deleting <laughs> exclusive content, so there will be no more record of anything. Arrested Development, uh, any season after season three, it's all gone. Yeah, um, it's not a license. There was this thing, is um, Lucasfilm show that came out. Do you do you know Willow? Vaguely, like a fantasy thing. Yeah, they did like a sequel series. Came out for like a week. They deleted it. Mm. There's a Grease spinoff. I don't know if you know this. They released a Grease TV show. So it was on Grease. Stan in Australia. Oh, um, deleted it after a week or something. Huh. It's kind of... I, I heavily disagree with deleting content, especially yeah. when the whole thing is like... Yeah. Oh, um, I don't know if you guys remember, because I think I reviewed it, but you may not remember. Back when Disney Plus launched... I watched this show with Jeff Goldblum going around and just doing random stuff. It was one of the launch titles for um, hmm. the Disney Plus. It mm. rings a bell. They deleted it. That was like one of their base shows. Hmm. Same as I think Diary of a Female President or something. I can't remember. This other show that was a launch one that I watched and I was like, oh, this is really good. Greg. And they deleted it. Grew up. Yeah. They might delete the live action, uh, not the, the animated. Yeah. Uh, Diary of a Kid, you know. I hope that gets deleted. Yeah. Hey, but we'll never have Greg's mom hidden the gritty. He <laughs> yeah. can never delete that. Yeah. At not least from that the exists we'll keep on it. the internet. It also we don't need to show for that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so voice acting all good. Great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, any other, like, cameos? Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm, okay, is the spoilers the same Mr. Beast was on there? Didn't notice him. I didn't Beast notice, but there? I know he was in there, yeah. And Post Damn. Malone. Post Malone was the singing... Ray. Yeah. Ray Filet. Oh. I, didn't, I couldn't tell it was Post okay. Malone. I could barely hear his... Oh, <laughs> yeah. And Post the only... Like, I don't even listen to Post Malone these days. He's just the cool dude on Good Mythical Morning. <laughs> yeah, Is Post he on Malone, there a lot? Have you seen his concerts? More than, He's like, like usual. such a yeah. vibey dude. Yeah. His dances are... Very... Yeah. I want to go to... You know, he, he's put, doing Australia too, and he's just going everywhere. He's going to, like, Ballarat. He's going to fucking, like, Damn. Bendigo. Yeah, because yeah. Ballarat is, like, becoming more of, like, a music central. People yeah. are going to do Ballarat. Do like, Spilt Milk or something shit? Don't know. One of the festivals, yeah. Shout out to Ballarat. Maybe we gotta go to Ballarat for a festival. If they have but, like, stuff my impression it? of Ballarat from, like, mostly just, like, my family who just goes there to, like, have fun is just the gold mine. What the fuck does that mean? They're gonna have fun with the gold. Are you talking there. about the they fucking stop mining gold? The 18th century <laughs> when exactly, the Chinese exactly. miners came. But that's like that's become my impression of Ballarat. There's nothing there except the gold. <laughs> the gold rush is still going on. Damn. I think I'm I've like, been there. Damn. Once. I know yeah. people living in Ballarat. Mm. Is Sovereign Hill in Ballarat? Sovereign Hill, yeah, that's the name. Oh, I've got not the fucking gold mine. There now. I, I was looking at their Instagram and I was just like, they're chilling in Ballarat. Looking at some sheep. Yep. I have a vague mm. memory. I went to 
Geelong, I went clubbing. And I think the club I went to was sheep themes because Geelong has like Aww. a big sheep thing. Sheep farms? Yeah, they're like in a sheep industry. What, or did something. they think they're New Zealand or some shit? Australia has a big sheep industry, bro. Yeah, but like <laughs> we export more like iron. Coal. No, we, our, our, one of our biggest exports sheep? is um, sheep and beef. And Merino. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I say yeah. one word, uh, and like lamb, like meat. I do like my lamb. Yeah. Yeah, then how Australia's come... Australia's world-class uh, meat. How come uh, New Zealand keeps saying they're, they're the sheep country? Because <laughs> that's all they have going for them. Yeah. They got it's nothing more, else. In New Zealand, it's more of a sex thing. Oh, okay. Australia is purely yeah. business. It's they fair. mix their business with their <laughs> relationships. <laughs> See, in, in New Zealand, they fuck the sheep and they're proud of it. In Australia, we fuck the sheep and we're like, nine yeah. out of ten. Yeah. Strain the tie. We take it seriously. Yeah. It's just business. It's just business. You. Business. Business. Yeah. Business. Anyway. Business. Moving, yeah. <laughs> moving through. So. Moving through the wall. <laughs> or. Pulling the wool over my eyes. Oh, there we go. That didn't make Shaving sense. the wool yeah. off the skin. Lambs of the slaughter. Oh. Anyway. Sheep brain. Acting. We did said we voice talk, acting did, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, cinematography. Good. Good. A lot of nice action in this one. Mm-hmm. I did fall asleep towards the end. <laughs> There's a theme Wait, of the movies I watched. Why did you keep sleeping here, man? Yeah. <laughs> but I thought it was... I still enjoyed the movie. That was pretty it's good. 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 Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Um, we oh, we did talk about the, the storyline yeah. briefly, but we, we, like the storyline is pretty basic. It's just like yeah. bad guys doing bad stuff. They do. They, they're trying to do the. I, they're trying to do like the lizard plan, but not really. Like if mm. you watch the Amazing Spider-Man, remember the lizard plan was to like gas yeah, the city yeah, and turn yeah. them all to lizards. Their plan is not to do that. It's to target sp- a specific like animals to make them just like rise to the planet of the yes. apes. Yeah, they do the ape thing. Yeah. She's like, yeah, I guess that's a fine point. Because ape together strong. Ape together strong. In this case, a mutant together strong. But if they're like... I feel like those mutants just won't all get along. Case in point, the Ninja Turtles don't yeah. completely get along with them. They don't vibe. Yeah. But they do vibe, but sometimes. They but vibe, they, but they... Know. What concerns me is that it will turn <laughs> it will turn that. every single fly mosquito beetle yeah. bug There's ant a yeah. large population yeah ants yeah ants. literally the ants will just take over all of the mutants then they'll have actual racism ants ants, ants. Then the ants ant will be... what's the ant population on earth again isn't it like 40 billion it probably yeah, is something cuz like one hole is like a couple million yeah Damn, so that's like, like a concert know. venue. <laughs> that's bigger than a that's concert like, venue. That's like the MCG. <laughs> the Melbourne's cricket ground. Cricket ground. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like the villain's deal. And the Ninja Turtles are kind of like, hey, we be in these sewers. We want to kind of do a Rapunzel and to get out of here and become uh, normal, maybe. Yeah. And then Splinter's like, hey, I'm a rat. <laughs> so don't do that because hey. they don't like us. No, sir. But then they meet... Everyone in New York's a dickhead. Uh, April. April. And April O'Neil. I really liked April this movie. Who is now a black girl. Traditionally a white girl. I know. But they changed it. I'm just pointing that out because it's The racist on the internet was like, I don't like this. Go woke, go back. Oh, no. It's... What's what's the fucking Scooby-Doo face again? Keepers. Velma? Velma. is Velma all over again. No, it's fucking not. Uh, I thought she was really fun. good. Yeah. yeah. Very good character. Yeah, I thought she had a good sympathize, moment. Empathize, empathize. You can be relatable. If I ever got up and I had to do the school reading announcements, 100% I would also do the same and throw up everywhere. Real? Yeah. And now it's Leonardo who has the thing for April, not Donatello. Because Donatello oh. is specifically, he's one mind, bro. It's just, I need to see BTS in my life. Yes. Yeah. He's focused on bigger things in life. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I thought that was all handled very nicely, and I'm like, yay, hey, it's cute. Yeah. Oh, going back to the vibe check a bit, this movie very much is in in line with Zuma Talk, which I thought was somewhat amusing. Yeah. 
sometimes a little bit cringe. It can be yeah. a little bit cringe at some points, but other times I'm like, yo, this is so me. We outside. We vibing. <laughs> Do you remember we that? out here. Uh, yeah, yeah, we out here. Yeah. Truly teenage behavior. They do but be it's, acting it's, like it's, it's weird because yeah. like a lot of movies when they do teenage talk, they don't understand how teenagers talk. Yeah, because like this I mean, the, tur- the turtles they're like the they're, they're an <laughs> actual they're they're an actual posse, you know, like like relax. And so, do you know about how they did that? They would basically be like, okay, this is kind of what you guys need to talk mm. about. Just talk, uh, and not, yeah, we're yeah, not going to yeah. really script it. And so that's so, why a lot yeah, of it. That's how it's cool. real. It sounds like a oh, and the other thing is. They did it in the same room, which a lot of yeah. voiceover mm. stuff is in different rooms. They did it in the same room. So it sounds, mm. it's pretty much all, it works. Good directing there. Good stuff there, yeah. Bunch of kids doing kid kids stuff. Yeah. People should do it more often. Yeah. It's real. We're in the room. I think it's the real. movie... So I have to kind of think of a way to justify why well, I'm not going to give it a super high score. And it's kind of mm. just like, to me, it's like the plot was just very simple and I've, I've seen it, it before. It felt a bit like Spider-Man yeah. in some ways. An amazing Spider-Man one. A little bit. Um, it just, yeah, it kind of same thing as Blue Beetle a little bit in terms of like, it feels a little bit borrowed from other things. It's just that like this was executed really well. It's just like narrative yeah. wise. Not super, yeah. It's not I, see where, I could clearly see where things were going. Nothing um, gave what, like, I was going to say twisted me. That doesn't make sense. You know, you know what I mean? Like, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing cracked that. my back. Nothing. Uh... Yeah, nothing cracked my back. Is that something people say? No, hell no. Okay. It is like, now. Okay. Whip, you know, like, um, on whip my back and whip it. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, making an omelet. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Crack your shells. No one stepped on my mother's crack. That's Wait, well. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the right thing. Yeah. Um. I thought the. I thought the movie kind of. It could have ended a little bit sooner, I think, because they kind of mm. do the thing of we oh we've defeated the threat, but also no, we haven't. We got to do a bigger threat. Yeah. And I'm like. That's a cliche. I'm like, fine, I guess, if it's... And then I fell asleep. <laughs> so maybe Sleepy maybe time. it was tremendous. I woke up and I think the first thing I saw were certain characters kissing. Ma, ma, ma. If you remember, you know. Honestly, I don't. The gross. Oh, wait. Yeah, yes, yeah, I yeah, remember yeah, that. yeah. Oh, yeah. that was like in Rush Hour where Jackie Chan kisses the white girl. <laughs> I thought when he kisses... Uh... What's the other guy? Um, fucking Chris Tucker. Yeah, I don't think they kissed, but maybe behind the scenes. Are you watch Rush Hour? I keep getting yeah. fucking yeah. Rush Hour in my fucking feed. Rush on Instagram. Hour is very good. Very good. Are they Russian? They do be Russian, Damn. but no Russian. That's real. If only Chris Tucker kissed Jackie Chan. Did we already talk about the visuals? Kind, of, kind of. I mean, like, kind the of. whole movie is visual, so... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's, uh, the it's, it's good style. Good style, yeah. it yeah. works, they executed it well. It's unique. It doesn't, like, look like Spider-Verse, but you can tell yeah. it's influenced by Spider-Verse. Still of that uh, almost comic booky. It looks like a person sketchbook, a teenager Sketch- sketchbook. Yeah, sketchbook a little style. bit of... I felt like there's a little bit of, like, claymation-type stuff mingled in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps there's a reference to those, like... Fucked TMNT movies from the nineties. Did they look a bit weird? Did they have claymation? I, don't I watched a, like a lot of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because my mom was mm. hella into it when she was a kid. Were they? Were they? Was that live action or was it? Cause the nineties like, ones they, are they, live the, the animated action. one, yeah. the original animated when one. When they wore suits. I watched the original mm. animated one when I was a kid, <laughs> a kid, yeah. What's that thing again? What are the little people? Yeah, called? when yeah. you were small. When I was a tween. Tiny. Yeah. Nah. But yeah, did you like it? Yeah. Dude. Hell yeah. Visuals, yeah. Editing, music, 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 yeah. music with Doctor Bones. I like the soundtrack. Yes. It's very good. good. You got some good tracks. Uh, I remember. I think No Diggity was in it. Yep. Now I was thinking Dang. to myself, No Diggity, no doubt. 
Yeah, they had a few old school. <laughs> old <laughs> school. Yeah. That's a real old school. Also, there was that one song that they were singing in the chase on the when they're in the cars and stuff. Oh. They were listening to the radio. Mm. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, but I forgot what song. Then they slammed on the brakes and they flew out. And there was also butter. Smooth like butter. Sung by the turtles. Yeah. And it brought me back to a time. I was at Luna Park with the Hobies. And we were like on the, do you know the thing that spins around really fast and you stick to the wall? Ferris wheel. <laughs> no, no, you like go on the wall and then it spins around really fast so you can stick to the wall and oh, not yeah. the ground. Oh, that one, I was yeah. terrified. And so everyone was like, what if we sing butter? <laughs> Oh, it's dynamite or butter. Which that like happened Which and exactly on an excursion yeah. that we had, and everyone, because it was a band excursion, and everyone just started singing the melody of our band shit apparently. And then all of the random strangers, because it was like mostly band kids in this thing, yeah. except for like two random people who were like, what the fuck is happening in here? Yeah. It's a mating call. So, you know what? I, I respect that, Donatella. I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. I, I did the exact same thing. He just like me for real. For real. Yeah. Spoiler zone? Spoiler zone. Spoiler zone. Yeah. Shredder. Yes. Where is Shredder? Post the credit. post credit scene. Oh, I forgot. That was hype, bro. Me yeah. and Lara were just going, Where's Shredder? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me Shredder. for once hype about something in the film. Because the, the, the bad guys at the start, were they the Foot Clan? Because they looked like the Foot Clan. The bad guys their costumes the were the Foot Clan costumes. I guess I didn't notice too hard then. They had their funny ninja look. Ah. And I was thinking, this has to be something to do with Shredder. Mm. But I don't know. I think the, the villain lady... She not wasn't present. really important because she's more just setting up for the sequel, I assume, yeah, to do with Shredder. Which I, I guess now I see the trilogy, right? Because yeah. you got the sequel Shredder, and then you got the trilogy of Krang. Yeah, you know what Krang is? The fucking I don't. Uh, the fucking brain or something. Krang. Is he a brain or something? Yeah, they they're all, it's a pop it's a population of brains. Have you seen oh. the live action version of it in like the? Michael Babe. I think oh. I've wanted to forget it. It's fucking funny. Yeah. I, I kind of want to watch those yeah. movies. They me look too, like now. Trashy, but like, not too bad. They're not, they don't look like they'll kill me like the Transformers series did. Because fuck the Transformers movies. I've seen them twice. All of them. They make me want to <laughs> die. <laughs> yeah. You know how fucking pained I was watching those movies with you. Literally every second I'd be like, I want to kill myself. <laughs> Makes you suicide. Yeah, it kind of does. Also, can I just say? No. Um, Splinter in like <laughs> with like fucking mullet and sideburns raising baby turtles is fucking. And how it makes no sense in the timeline. Yeah, of how it would have worked. But they, then he says, "Oh, it totally makes sense." Yeah. About it. Yeah. It's because he's good. watching like eighties karate VHS tapes. Yeah. So. yeah. And it's all like that was a cool origin. I like mm. the way they did the origin in this one as well. Yeah. And oh, I like the integration the... of live action with animation. Oh yeah. This that also reminded me of like the um Lego movie type of thing. Because mm. in that one Wait, it's from the fucking same writers, isn't it? As I, I would think know. as the Lego movie. Lego movie. I know they definitely did the Mitchells vs. the Machines. Oh yeah. Hmm. yeah, which like you can kind of tell. I think. Um, I feel like it had some, because isn't their whole? I think that, I don't know, but it, it felt very similar. And hmm. I liked the Lego like, Ninjago movie. I don't think it was good uh... as the Lego movie, which is why I was like, I don't think this one's I, that great. But like, it's still got some good stuff. No, oh, they did the milking joke. I thought that was, that was somewhat good. funny. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, I like that. They milk. They milk. Shall we verdict or do you have more to talk about? Or is he going to keep just milking? Do you remember that Nintendo Switch milking? Oh, yeah, thing? I remember playing that. Yeah. I can imagine it. Evan's place. Yes. Yeah. I understand why. It was, um, it was one of the ones where you, um, it's a race. You have to race the other person to milk the cow faster or something, right? Yeah, you just need to. And so you get the haptics of the way it moves down. 
Just do like a jack off motion. You <laughs> that's kind of what we do. So, yeah, but I would role play like cow and moan all the time. Oh, you would. Okay, I'll milk you. <laughs> Don't thank, you. thanks, Dad. Fatherly love. Milk and kid. Uh, so, um, <laughs> yeah. Hey, the tortoises, the turtles are here. <sighs> And you know, they like the pizza. And, hey, uh, I like my pizza. That's me. Yeah, I'm you know. a turtle. It's turtles. Uh, they, they be doing the, the ninjas. And uh, they look quite good on screen, you know. Good animation, good visuals. They got a pretty stock standard story, but that's all right. It's done good. Villain's cool. Kind of funny, yeah. So I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I hear you say. It's the fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, man. Not that deep. <laughs> I have fun. Um, <laughs> fuck. I'm, I'm like tempted to give it a 9. I'm going to give it an 8 and a half. Damn. To balance it out, I'm going to give yeah. it a 7 and a half. There you go. I thought this was a good movie. Better than Blue Beetle. Mm. Better than Shazam 2. That's right. Hey. But not as good as Spider-Man. I think I gave Black Adam the exact same score I gave Shazam and uh, Blue Beetle. I think I gave it a 6. Uh, okay. There's a trend with these DC movies, except for The Flash. Which I think I gave a 4 or something. Like a mm. 4 or 5. Fuck The yeah. Flash. Fuck that movie. All right, anyway, combined average score of 8 out of 10. Woo! Go check it out. See in the theaters if you can. Otherwise, yeah, I think it's already on streaming or something. No, 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 yeah. All right, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of The Unholy Trinity. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time. Maybe, what are we thinking? The Continental three-episode miniseries? Are we going to mm. have a podcast in The Continental? We could... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Could we just oh, show yeah. up at the lobby and be like, "Yeah, we're, we're making a podcast." Yeah, we're just we're just making. Yeah, we're just vlogging. Yeah. yeah, we love the boys, man. Yeah. Oh well, to be fair, if we just walk into the restaurant, what are you gonna do? Kick us out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we mm. if we book a conference room, what are they gonna do? Make us pay for it? Yeah. Most likely, they mm. would. If we showed them the unholy dot pod on Instagram and TikTok, would they be like, "Wow, good, cool content"? It's a free promotion, guys. And would they ever message us at three unholy things at gmail dot com? Probably not, to be honest. Unless we, you use... can. Well, if we if we spam them repeatedly, they'd probably end up sending us an email telling us to stop. I mean, we can pretend to like. Uh... Would they check? What What if like we showed them our YouTube old YouTube content on the uh-huh. unholy Trinity YouTube channel? I mean, maybe they'll be too distracted enjoying those videos and instead of messaging us. And do I have any more ways we can promote our <laughs> channel that I've been... Oh, what if uh, <laughs> they check us out on the Spotify, uh, not just Spotify, oh! but Apple Podcasts yes. as well. Mm-hmm. The maybe then they could leave a review to let us know that we'll, we could... Five star. Five star. Five star. Like star, album, five star. And four star like the fucking hotel you guys are. <laughs> but, don't, but don't give us four star, give us five. Fucking four yeah. star shooters. Alright, see you later, <laughs> lads. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye.